How are you, man? Good. Yeah. Let me see, let me see the shirt. Let me see the shirt. Oh. oh Look at that. Look knees. at that fucking beauty. Look at that shit. Did you get yours, yeah? Yeah, I got mine, yeah. Yeah. It's, um, <laughs> yeah, she's, uh, that's really nice of her. And I had a bunch of people be like, oh, can I buy it? I'm like, no, that one's a that one's a commemorative one just for us because uh, yeah, yeah. That, one's, that one's special. But we have some other ones coming out for everybody else. Um, I, I want. I'm glad you came on before everybody. Let's talk about the fights. Oh fuck! I haven't watched the Stan Efferton um, interview yet, but okay. First, I'm 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 very you're 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 two faced basically is what you told me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't change my opinion. I didn't change my opinion about about John Jones. I think you just went Switzerland on it, did you? <laughs> you sat on that big old fucking fence of yours. I think uh, John Jones is incredible, and is it definitely in the conversation of the greatest fighters of all time? Oh, that's generous of you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's de- he's definitely in the yeah. I agree he's, on that. He's one. definitely in the conversation, but yeah. for me as a fan. He's not my pick for greatest of all time. That's all. I'm allowed to say that. You are allowed to say that. You're right? always, I mean, yeah, you're allowed to be wrong. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> you can't. Your opinion can't be wrong. I'm not saying he's not the greatest fighter of all time. I'm saying for me, I don't feel like he's the greatest fighter of all time. That can't be. That's I, not. A, that's not a wrong statement. No, no, no. It's the same thing with bodybuilding, right? My greatest of all time is Ronnie. I'm not going to argue if someone else. Like Nick, Nick thinks that Jay's his greatest, right? Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, and I'm like, I don't see on a, I can't, I'm not going to argue that. It's an opinion. So yeah, I mean, mathematically, you're right, John. That guy, or sorry, guy, guy I, a, you're right. Mathematically, that guy is the greatest of all time. <laughs> Friends, let me know. I'm on the I'm sorry. Gentlemen, what's up? C Rainy eighty four says hi. <laughs> Uncle June, how are you, man? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. How's the weather there? I can't hear you too well right now. Hang on. Let's Turn on. your volume up there, Gene. Always has tech Maybe issues. Are plugged in. Hang on. Here we go. Here we go. Maybe that long hair is in your ears. Yeah. <laughs> you can think you see his hair. Look at you see his scalp. Look at. Hey. <laughs> oh, oh, you can hear me now. <laughs> I can still hear you. It's not that great. <laughs> hang on. I'm on, I'm on Mateo's laptop. Well, uh, do you mean, aren't you, don't you guys live near each other? You said, how's the weather there? Yeah, I'm just fucking with them because everybody. Oh, because I, I, I could. Every, yeah, yeah, yeah. I could. Yeah. All pa- yeah. Paul gets DMs by the dozens now about the weather. <laughs> <laughs> I can still hear you, Fuad. <laughs> okay, I think I'm good. Can you hear us better? Hang on. <laughs> All right, we're going to oh, carry on. Yeah, what on. planet am I on right now? Oh, it's I'm not. Pl- oh, show me it's not plugged in, please. Can you show us? <laughs> oh, <laughs> 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 we're good. <laughs> oh, you're my favorite human, bro. The fucking headphones were plugged in. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> that's why. You're, that's why you're my best friend, man. I can't. Help <laughs> All right. So, <clears throat> me and Ben were having a conversation about fighting earlier. Yeah. Uh, guy, do you watch the fights or no? Uh. Yeah. I watch the fights. I'm not like you're not like a like into I'm it. I'm not like, like a hardcore. Yeah, yeah. I'm like but he'll, so he'll he'll know that John Jones is the greatest ever. Though. Do you think John right. Jones one is up, the greatest? One of yeah, one of yeah. see one of. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, me and Ben have this thing going about. Ben thinks John Jones is the greatest of all time, and I would say mathematically he's right, but he's not my. In my opinion, he's not the greatest of all time. Which is like, you know, saying, what? I have a, hey, hold on. It's just like saying Jay Cutler's the greatest of all time compared to Ronnie Coleman. This is for two different reasons. We, 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 that's, that's, exactly what what ben, that's what Ben just said. Exactly, just said. You're kind of, you're kind of both right, but it's just opinion. The, the, the problem I have, and Wait, I could accept- who the- say so I can back one of you and <laughs> take alliance right off the start. So I can, just, so I can start stacking my chips now. Who did who say? I didn't, I didn't pick anybody, but I, I think because John Jones got caught with PDs a couple times. And I noticed that John Jones' performance changed after the testing got more stringent. They should have tested Ronnie too. And, uh, that's, what was, that's exactly what I was. That's, that's the words right out of my mouth. I just so. don't. I just listen. His last. I don't think his last four fights were that impressive. Okay, do you know what I have the issue with? Because I know I'm gonna guess that Khabib is your pick, right? I would say Khabib or GS, GSP. Okay, pick one. Mm-hmm. If I had to pick one, I'd say Khabib. He's just more dominant. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I would agree if Khabib had defended the title more times against substantial competition. That's and my I, issue. 
yeah. with his with his record compared Why to Why do you Jones. say Khabib over yeah. McGregor? And I'm just is it just because he beat him? No, no, McGregor shit. Yeah, <laughs> I shouldn't say that. There's a whole bunch of McGregor people are gonna go crazy right now, but I should say that. Connor, but, but Connor's not in Connor's not in the discussion for greatest of all time. No, because Connor he's, he's no. the biggest draw, he's the biggest entertainer, yes, period. Like that's a fact. I'm gonna I, re- love uh, can I, I, re- can I, I love McGregor. I, I just want to rephrase so people don't go crazy. I think Connor McGregor's awesome and he's, he's awesome, he's awesome to watch. But as far as like purely statistically fighting, you know, he, he lost to Nate Diaz, who's like a you know an yeah. amazing fighter, but he's not even in the you know, wouldn't not wouldn't you wouldn't call him one of the greatest, and he's lost. No, a, you know, he lost to I, Justin Poirier. He's lost some fights. Whereas Khabib, Khabib has lost one fucking round, not a fight. He lost one round in in like twenty fights. No, 20, but that's what I mean. Like he's twenty nine he, fights. His record of twenty nine, I think it's like most of it was outside of the UFC. I agree, and and most of it wasn't defending his title. Agree. And that's why, and that's, and that's where I'm like, oh, there's a little. There's, so John's got the asterisks on steroids. Yep, Khabib yep. has the asterisks on the title defense. The record is it's it's like a boxing record, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it's kind of shined up and made to look yep. like 29 and 0. But I'm like, okay, prove like you got to prove that for a period of time. The only yeah, I was asking because he, you said Khabib. I was I was asking, were you saying Khabib because? Could be beat McGregor, who had a bunch of titles. That's why I would, that was no, my. No, the reason I. The reason, I was asking what you were basing that off of. That's why. I'm basing it on two things. One, he's 29 and 0. Nobody, nobody finishes their career unbeaten. Um, but more, more importantly than that, he guys lost, lost one round. Like, you can't, there's no other fighter you can say is that dominant. Like, George St. Pierre, one of the greatest fighters of all time, but he's lost rounds. He lost one fight or more than one fight, but he's, and he Not almost, you know, goes- a lot of people that his last fight against um, not Bisbing, but the one before that, uh, I can't remember what the, the title fight was before he retired. He almost lost, like some people thought that was a loss. That was controversial, but Khabib is dominantly ended everybody he's fought like just dominantly. And I think any, I, I just wish he'd stayed around and defended the title and carried on. And then he, there'd be no fucking argument. I agree with that. I agree but with I, that. Hey, has anybody else ever retired undefeated, or is Khabib the only guy? Well, you know what? Like, John Jones technically is undefeated. He's got one disqualification. Okay, but no one's ever beat him. I don't think any. No, I he, mean, no. He was. See, the, the, the disqualification as well for, was for that elbow. He was on. Yeah. He was mounted on. He was full mount on the guy and was beating the shit out of him. And the guy was covering up. The ref was about to stop it. And then John threw a, a 12 to 6 elbow, which is like illegal. Illegal, yeah. And they disqualified him on the spot, but the right, guy was getting. Go, you can't go straight down, right? No. Yeah. yeah. 12, the 12 guy was get, the, the guy was like, the guy was on the verge of tapping to strikes, and the ref was about to jump in. It was a, it was, they called it a no contest, and now it goes down as a, uh, a one on his record. But yeah, it's, That's it's, it's, I, I guess yeah. I, I'll say this: I agree with you, Ben. Uh, John Jones goes down greatest of all time as far as numbers mathematically. You, I, there's no disputing that. But I just, I would just go Khabib because every fight you just know how it's going to go. Yeah. Like nobody, well, nobody's been able to be that predictable. I mean, he beat Justin Gaethje. That was, like, that was how John was though in the first five years. That's what pisses me off. I'm like, John used to be that fucking dominant. Yeah, yeah. I mean, was, of, of former world champions, right? But is it because he was had some help? They you all know? had fucking help. Yeah, they all did. No, right? yeah. no, they didn't. Oh, back then, on. Khabib's natural. No, I'm the guys he was fighting, right? Let's, yeah, let's, let's be honest. Some of them, oh, were the not, guys like, he were fighting were, oh, yeah, they were all on for sure. Like, yeah, like if he, right? So if he's on and they're all on, I'm not saying I don't know. You don't guys know normally shit, assume but... that everybody just takes them because I do, yeah, yeah, oh, uh, not anymore, but back then I do, yeah, yeah. 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 Didn't the testing become more strict a few years ago at UFC? And then, it... yeah. Yeah. yeah, 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 anyways. So that's a that's a debate that can go on forever, but the what we were talking about was what I wanted to get into was. If you guys watched the Jake Paul Ben Askren fight, I watched it. Is that a fucking embarrassment or what? Yeah, I thought a guy who's a UFC fighter and a former isn't he like a former All American wrestler? Yeah, but he's not known for his striking. I meant the I, I meant so, Jake, I Jake, Jake Paul won. He knocked him out in the first round. <laughs> yeah, like a minute. But, but, but it's he's he's not only not known for his striking, he's known for having terrible striking. Yeah, yeah. I just yeah. thought he had. I just thought he had a. I just thought he had a better chin. You know, being that experience of a of a grappler. Or you gotta you gotta remember, 
he you... makes weight for the UFC. All of his titles were at 170. And he weighs in at 191 pounds. Like oh. he's so he's fighting now the equivalent of what middle like he, he's up a weight class, though, and if he went up a weight class in the UFC, he's going to get his ass handed to him. What, what are you, are you two fucking? What are you laughing at, guy? <laughs> the biggest blender I've ever seen. <laughs> it's a hoss. It's a hoss. It's a hoss blender. <laughs> fucking head. You should... oh, fucking... Are you drinking all that? Yeah. <laughs> <You're dead. laughs> what do you got in there? Oh, unnecessary. I saw fucking... everything. Uh, hostile <laughs> ISO H one. Uh, peanut butter, a scoop of peanut butter, and uh, banana. Oh, <coughs> plug, <coughs> plug. Pl- <laughs> <laughs> I got the best protein known to man in here. <laughs> delicious. <laughs> Sounds delicious. Um, <laughs> any- <laughs> anyways, uh, no, I meant more the production. Like, the entire production was a fucking joke. Oh, I put, it, I put it. I put it on just for the for the fight. Like, literally put it on and then. Oh. That's, I kept going back and forth. I watched the Frank Mir fight, and Oscar De La Hoya was a wreck. And, and I'm like, why are they mixing? Why are they mixing like these like concert acts with boxing? Like guys who watch boxing don't want to watch Justin Bieber, mm-hmm. and people who watch Justin Bieber don't want to watch boxing. I'm like, why are they mixing these two things? Do you know what's really odd? They would have made the same amount of pay per view without all that shit. Yeah, they would have saved a ton of money. Yeah, yeah. they've got to pay all these guys whatever their appearance fees are. Yeah, yeah. 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 That was really that bad. Can you like pull oh, yeah. it up or like YouTube take it down? No, they, was, I, don't, I don't think it's on YouTube, but it was it was horrible fucking guy. It was no, like, 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 can you like find like a, the, the knockout or whatever, whatever, however we won? I'll see if I can find it. You guys go ahead. Um, and then this weekend's UFC is fucking awesome. There's uh, Kamara Usman's fighting Jorge Masvidal. That's going to be a fucking crazy fight. So, Dude, women's fights are going to be fucking good. I know women. you don't. You're, no, they, you're, you're, I, you're sexist. No. <laughs> <women's fight. laughs> Huh? I like the for, women's for, fights. I like Fernando text, for, for text me halfway through the UFC and be like, "Are oh, the women are fighting? Let me know when the men are back on." <laughs> oh, yeah? That's not true. That's not true. <laughs> oh, no, that was it. Was a little guy. All your right? women fans unfollow you. It depends. It depends on the women that are fighting. This card has awesome women fighting. Who is it? Uh, Rose Yama Yun- oh, yeah. Yunus is fighting. Uh, who's the judge? The, who's the Ori- The Asian woman. Wei Li. Wei Li, Wei Li Yang. Oh, there was some controversy over this fight, right? Didn't she say something about nah, communism or something was, like that? Yeah, I don't know. she said that. Yeah. I just read about, I'd rather I'd rather be dead than red. That's what she said. Rose, right? said, yeah, Rose yeah. said that. Yeah, yeah. Wow, she's not even controversial. Why would she fucking go that way? Because she's from Lithuania, and they, it's oh. a communist country. Oh, and apparently her her grandparents were like really badly oppressed, and oh fuck. Yeah, so, they, like, they, so, so there's some personal shit in this fight. She didn't mean it. Like, she's not that type of person, I don't think. But she, I don't think it so was either. just a, it was just a little statement that she made, and then the media have gone, "Oh, you yeah. hate her," and she was like, right. well, could, have said, "Could have meant it in a gang-related thing too." Yeah, the other fight. What's the other yeah. fight? Uh, Shevchenko versus Andrade. That's right. That's a good fight too. I'll watch those fights. I just don't like watching the beginner chicks. <laughs> or the or the guys that are under one forty five. <laughs> yeah, the little guys don't like to watch very much either. <laughs> That's like I was just gonna say. It's like saying you don't like watching the bantam to like the middleweights. Yeah, no middleweights. I'll watch bantam weights. I'm like, yeah. yeah you say middleweights. So I turn pro in. I'm not talking about bodybuilding, but I, I mean, well, I was comparing the two. <laughs> That's what I thought. You thought we were talking about bodybuilding? Yeah. No, no I was comparing about... bodybuilding to UFC. Like you don't watch. Like are you the one yeah. of the guys that goes to a bodybuilding show and you're like, ah. Eh, these classes I don't watch, but I'll watch yeah. you guys. Yeah, yeah, two, yeah. 212 is the equivalent of like the 145s, right? Yeah, like I don't yeah. watch 212. I just don't watch open. <laughs> I like 212, guy. I love you. I interrupt your live feed every morning now. <laughs> <laughs> now it's becoming like a whole other podcast now. Dude, I'm like, every <laughs> time you're live, people message me off the fuck. I get like a shitload of DMs. You guys, love- to yourself. I did the fucking, I have zero sympathy for you. I just wanted to come on once in a while. I didn't think I'd be I, like. Yeah, but every time I'm on now, it's like, where's Fuad? Where's Nick? Where's Uncle June? Where's Ben? Uncle where's June. Nick? I'm like, I don't know. Fucking call him, will you? <laughs> you know you Check their Instagram. It, no, it is a real thing. You cannot dissociate from each other now. No. Like anything I do is like Fuad, Guy, like a, James. We're like a like, human centipede. <laughs> <laughs> 
All right, wait. I think I can show you this guy. One second. Yes. I'm gonna, totally going to get banned from YouTube for this, but whatever. Mm -hmm. Whatever, like two seconds. Okay, so. Who's the other dude? I think it's coming up right now. Who, who's the other guy? That's Ben Askren is the guy with the curly hair. Jake Paul is the blonde. No, kid. I know, but who's Ben Askren? Ben Askren's a UFC fighter who's actually was a champion before UFC. There it is. That's it. Do you see it? Yeah, that was it. Wait, go back like two seconds? Jesus, that was fast. What's the... um? Right here. What's the tr what's the trophy in uh in <laughs> oh my god guy if me and yeah. you box if me and you box that's what I do to You'd you. be the one getting up right now. Wine one one son. Going out way ambulance. <laughs> you know the frustrating the frustrating thing is he's such a fucking cunt. Who like, is Jake Paul? Jake Paul is yeah. beyond I not I would not pull that out and act the same fucking way. Cocky as hell. <laughs> <laughs> what up now, bitch? <laughs> no, you know what, though? This actually leads me to the next thing I want to talk about. He is an asshole, but he's making fucking millions of dollars and people are wa watching him, right? And he's followed, like, the basically the Floyd Mayweather recipe, which is make everybody hate you and they'll want to watch, right? Yeah, they tune in for you to lose, yeah. Yeah, what's happening right now in bodybuilding? Same shit. People hate blessing all of a sudden. Like, everybody's going ape shit about blessing. Because blessing. Well, I, I asked what happened because I, I honestly, all I keep seeing is posts about blessing in the end, and so this, I honestly don't even know what the fuck it's about. So, oh, guy, yeah. guy, this is what happened. So, uh, blessing posted a picture of his quad, okay. and Ian, Ian posted, "Where's your sweep, though?" <laughs> <laughs> is this and when was this recently? It was like this week sometime. I don't remember. It was like earlier in the week. So, how does Ian? How does Ian always? This get is, hold on. This is meant to be. A compliment to Ann. Ann's such a cunt. That's why I love him. <laughs> he don't give a He doesn't give fuck. a shit. No, he doesn't. You know, because I like, people think I don't give a fuck, which I don't. But I give a fuck to an extent. No, you give a fuck. You wouldn't start No, I just said, no, no, hold, yeah. whoa. Yeah. I just said, yeah. I don't give a fuck, but not to that extent. Ann's level of not giving a fuck it way surpasses mine. <laughs> Ian, Ian, and, Ian and Sergio have a good don't give a fuck meter. Yeah, there, Sergio's there another one. He yeah. he can fucking go, oh, yeah, zero filter. <laughs> yeah, but it's not because because I'll see stuff. I just I'll, I try to show respect and not well, like the, well, the, the difference is I'll see stuff and I'll, I'll think it in my head and then I'll move on. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Whereas, <laughs> That's Ian, and, Ian and Sergio go Ian and Sergio go for the fucking throat. They're like, <laughs> okay, bought it saying it. I'm like, wow. But this is what I wonder because I'm kind of like guy. Like I, I'll say whatever I want, but I always have a level of respect for the guys. Right? If, like, no, if somebody never disrespected me, yeah, I wouldn't just rant. And I'm not. I'm. This is not nothing to do with him. Just, yeah, just yeah, me. Yeah. yeah, of course. If nobody's ever came at me yeah. publicly, I wouldn't go after them because I would never want to just. Now listen, what I'm not saying what they're doing is right or wrong, but what they are doing is bringing attention to themselves. And if you're trying to fucking be like get more followers, more fans or whatever, or be in the now, like they're doing it. Well, this so is what, this is. Are you calling Ian Jake Paul then? <laughs> no, I was calling I Blessing. Think... I was calling Blessing Jake Paul. <laughs> I was calling Blessing Jake Paul. No, so, and I don't mean it in a negative way. I'm Because I'm, honestly, Blessing did my podcast. And we talked about it. And he said exactly what we're talking about. He said, look, I'm making it exciting. I'm making it a fucking show. And I think even if he, I, has, think... I think even if he has to play the heel, he's willing to do it to make it a show. Yeah, and uh, I guess the question I'm asking you guys is: Is it good for the sport or is it bad for the sport? Because, I mean, it's it is entertaining. You can't say it's not. I think it's great. <laughs> yeah, I think it's good. Well, what happens? What happens if they're both outside the top call out? The first call out. <laughs> 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 imagine, imagine you they're doing all this thing. Ben, you, know, like, you want to start making bets like the Super Bowl, like who gets called out first and like who gets switched to wear the first call out? <laughs> no, because I'm friends with Blessing too. Like I like Blessing and I like Nick. So I've never had a problem with Blessing either. That's why I stay the fuck out of this shit. Listen, I, I don't I don't mind Blessing either. I like Blessing's been on the show a couple times. He's always been very polite with me. He's always me, yeah, he me, me and him have good conversations. And I think when he's online, he likes to play the fucking game. Yeah, for sure. So what did he respond well, with? Oh, they went on forever. You got to go. Yeah, it's on buys, really? buys and tries. Uh, put it up. Pull it up so I can just okay. get one second. Yeah, a little, 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 a little bit of a refresh. <laughs> I 
Um, it went on for a little while, but the problem is I think the fans get too carried away though. They're like, because it's good because it, it brings people to it, but then people get really angry and they're like, yeah, oh. they cause somebody messaged me and they're like, I think we should have a boxing match between Ian and blessing. And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> it's everything's gonna be boxing matches now because of these I fucking know. big ball in the other. Right. Yeah, <laughs> I wonder if he deleted it. Are you happy now that you got a little oh. fucking facial scruff back? You yeah, look at that beard. It fucking looks great. I dyed it today, guy. Look how good it looks. You're such a loser. Because <laughs> my fucking beard's like gray and shitty. Like yours. how old you look? Wait, no, the problem is you look is homeless. You're, you're, false, you're false advertising. <laughs> your fucking beard is gray like mine. You just fucking you're like one of the bitches on Instagram that fucking uses all those filters and like I look so great and everything's so pretty. Dude, you your person you look like a fucking blown up cigar. <laughs> you know you're fake know, advertising right? also, right? You're fucking on. You're on steroids, dude. You're. I was, about, <laughs> exact, I, was, I was just about to say. I was about to say we're all fucking juiced out of our brains. <laughs> we're all fake advertising. I, just, I took it a step further. And I had dyed my fucking beard. Yeah, the beard's the, the beard's the least of his fucking worries. Yeah. <laughs> wow. All right. Let me see here. You fucking kamikaze yourself just to take me out. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So it starts here. So. Ian says, where's your sweep, though? And Blessing comes back and says, same place as your calves, you salty cunt. Oh, she's your next, called a salty cunt? You're wow. next after I destroy the brick walker, crybaby. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> is, it, what, is a brick a bad thing? That's an escalation. Well, you, you don't know like a that. brick? Yeah, well, you built like, a, uh, well. Built, built like a brick to normal guys is cool. Built like a brick as a bodybuilder means you're a fucking square. I would yeah. say you're like a sheet rock. I mean, like you're weak. So then it goes listen, on. Bumstead, listen, Bumstead, Bumstead, Bumstead gets involved. Says so he, he, he admits he has no sweep. Yeah. Wait, no. Okay, well, look when 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 God of bodybuilding comes Where's in. Phil's gone, The yeah, argument is over. Yeah. Phil Shoot. got in. Rough Diesel. Every <laughs> blessings coming back, and then it's like this just went crazy, man. It got so many fucking likes and views, and well, what people are start talking about it. I would say. Oh, wow, wait, buys and tries jumped on the team Ian. No, he put like one of each. He put, are you team Ian or are you team Blessing? And then team Blessing got 249 likes. Team Ian got 1,800. Well, what so, did Ian say? <clears throat> Sorry. It, it goes on forever. I'm not going to read the whole thing on the show, but they lit each other up and the fans almost all took Ian's side, which I mean, this rightfully is- rightfully so. Ian's proved himself, so he can't, you yeah. know. For yeah. sure. Yes. I, I mean, calling somebody. This is, this is like. Yeah, that's an escalation. Oh no, 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 no! It's not. So it's not an escalation. No, it's not. I know what Ben's going to say. Oh, I know Ben's going to say. You guys use it differently, right? Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. And he, he's from. I mean, he spent a lot of time. I think in Ireland or North. Like it's very liberally used, and it's yeah. not that aggressive. He's yeah, from. He's, yeah. from, he's from yeah. Ireland, so calling somebody a cunt is not. It's like it's like dude yeah. to us, eh? You know who told yeah. me that? Which I didn't even believe. Um, backstage at the Pittsburgh Pro, Tony Doherty was there one year when I was guest posing. Oh, the fucking Australians are just as bad. Yeah, and and he was telling me that because he said "cunt" backstage, and I was like, and he's like, "Well, I go, bro, you're gonna get shot right here." We say that, <laughs> and, like, and so and I was like, "Yeah, you guys can say that." He's like, "Yeah," and he actually used somebody's grandmother dying as an example. He's like, "Yeah, you'll be like talking if somebody's grandmother passed away." Like, oh, this poor cunt passed away. And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, yeah. oh, God. Fuad, you'd love yeah. to live there, Fuad. You, you, love, you love that word. Mm. Yeah, that's how that's how it's used. It literally is. It's almost it like we use bro, they say cunt. Yeah. I'm like, you say yeah. stay, you get chick, chick, bang. No, it flows. It depends on the context. and It depends on the connotation. I can make it, it flow yeah, very easy. Yeah, All yeah, right, so go. one second. I have, like, have like a conservative Canadian girl move there. It would be called cunt, cunt 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 by everybody. Yeah, yeah. That'd be awesome. <laughs> No, um, so is it is it good or bad? That's what I want to know from you guys. Is it good or it bad? Makes it a little, it's going to make the show interesting to a lot of the fans that tune in to watch because they're going to want to see a battle. So to say it's not helping, I would say is stupid. Yeah. I know the bodybuilding purists out there, it's kind of like the same thing with like fighting, right? They're going to be like, ah, oh, but it's like negative and it's fucking ugly and it, it's not a game. This is bodybuilding. It should be more pure. No, because I, they're, I, I, they're, I, I, they're you, talking... They're, they're yeah. arguing over the things that they're going to compete against. Mm-hmm. It's yeah. not like they're arguing and being like, I'm going to fucking, I'm going to stab you. You're right. You're right. You know? you're, you're right. Except for the fans start to get personal. Yeah. Oh, fuck that's, 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 you know what? You can't blame what the fans happen. do. It's like watching, yeah. would, you, would you rather watch a Super Bowl 
with two rivals or then or just two random teams. You always want to see the fucking rivals or the, no. or the teams that go at each other the most. Listen, I'm not saying it for me. Like, I think it's awesome. I think if these guys can handle it, like, I, I don't like this kind of shit for myself. Like, I would never inject Oh, it's stre- it would stress me out yeah, so I don't. Bad. Yeah. But if these guys like it and it's not affecting their preps or whatever – then fuck it, it's awesome for people watching. I love now. I'm like, I'm, hey. I can't, I can't wait for New York now. Yeah, the promoter probably loves it. Paul, yeah. What happens if I started something like this and just changed my number with Fuad? <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> just start some drama like that and just change my number so he can't text me ever again. <laughs> I wouldn't That's respond right. to you. You're two, you're two twelve. What are you gonna say to me? <laughs> Come down yeah. to two twelve. I'm 212 like, squad and one okay. open guy squad. I'll be like, okay, I'll cut my leg off. I'll come down to 212. Why don't you guys meet in the middle? I'll have like a 220 or something. Wait, that you guys Let's agree do on it. Let's do it, guy. Me and you'll have a show, just me and you. And we'll okay. do it at a catch weight of 230. You guys can guess pose at our show. We'll have uh, the panel so judges. I, I, so I got I to gotta be 230? Yeah, yeah make it 230. Yeah, yeah but hang, hang well, on. What, what am what I going to guess what? pose? My man boobs and my fucking fat <laughs> love handles? You're going to roll me on stage. What are you going to do? Wait, and. But Fuad at 230, he's going to lose a lot of fucking muscle. Right, yeah. Right, so a full guy versus a flat Fuad. We'll see. Be like all, right. A... Take, all right, take a, a stuffed animal, dunk it in water. That's what I would look like at 230 on stage. <laughs> I think it'd be fun. Yeah. Um, no, let's do it. Let's, but I, let's just not make it a weight thing. Let's just make it a who looks better thing. Oh, I can't. I, don't, I look like shit now. I'm like 50 years old. It's not going to work. I'm fucking 39 and 18 surgeries. <laughs> yeah, you do have a lot of surgeries, don't you? And I'm still a strong motherfucker. Yeah, it's different though when you're small. You, your proportions are better. When you're big, your proportions change a lot more. A lot of excuses. Yeah. No, seriously. My arms suck. I have short arms. Yeah, but you can still win a show with small arms. Look at Bumstead. Bumstead's got good big, like dep- well, depending from the where what angle you look at his arms. Wait, 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 wait. Bumstead's I, arms are his weak point, and they're not they're not great. They're not horrible. It's, it's, not it's, it's where yeah. they're inserted. It's yeah. but he doesn't so, have skinny arms. I don't think. Yeah, he's got like wrong attachments. To say like it's his weakest body part, yeah, but I don't think they're bad. Bad. Yeah. What are you gonna say? I was gonna say, guy stated, I have short arms. Like the rest of him is fucking long. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he said, he, <laughs> I, I, try life and oh, my arms are really short. No, like I'm saying yeah, that we, guys, you idiot, guys that are short normally have bigger arms because they're short. That's true. I I have big legs, no arms. I'm like, T-Rex. I wonder. I wonder if I if. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna go there. <laughs> no, go ahead. No, no, no. no. I want to no. know. No, no, no. Let's move on. I want to know. Tell me. <laughs> I was going to say, guy at his best versus me at my best. I, I don't think you beat me. Let's see oh, pictures. I side love by side. You. He's already getting anxiety. Pull him up. Pull oh, him no. up. Me and Pull me. Up. All right. Pull me and and show your up. fucking screen. <laughs> 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 What's your favorite look, guy? I'll pick it up. Pull it up right now. <clears throat> guy, sister Nino. What's your favorite? What video? What video? Do you have a video of your favorite look? <clears throat> uh one of my best looks yeah was uh i'm trying to well the, come on come on come on all the, a, take, take all day 2000 come on any day Same any show in 15 or 16 2015 any show any show 15 and 16 were my years that fucking i was blo- i was i all right. Do we have one? Oh, I'll say yes or no. Well, those were your Miami, buzzers. yes. New York, yes. Not the Olympian 15, Olympian 16. Okay. So I don't know. Let's see. You're right there. Winning routine. Go back. Well, I want to look at a video. Yeah, but there's a video right there. Winning routine 2015. Right. Top left. This one? Yeah. All right. Let's see. I'm going to end up editing this whole thing out. Well, I know. I'm going to get a text of this again. Again, Ben, 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 this already happened once, Ben. The uncut shit. This is going to make it there again. All right, let's, let's see. How this just keep, just keep mentioning it uh, like every 30 minutes through the podcast, then you can't cut it. No, I'll still cut it. I don't give Sorry. a fuck. Ben, you're a fucking smart dude. <laughs> no, let's see. Okay. Fuck, you look good here, guy. Yeah, you do. That's night, night. Keep your booty hole tight, buddy. You ain't look fucking touching me. Full. Look at what that. You, full as a house. What are you weighing there, guy? I was like 207. You look really good there. Yeah. Well, I said any show. 
Yeah, but if I stood next to you, like, hold if, on. this is the thing. If hold you look on, at, hold on, hold on, hold on. I can talk. Little... I can talk while you're posing. <laughs> no, I don't want the fans to get distracted by your fucking. The thing <laughs> is, it, you look. Look, I'm going to give you props. You look amazing, right? But if I stood next to you, I would literally outweigh you by fifty pounds. I would outclass you, mash you, and fucking. <laughs> <laughs> Like in a in a video or a photo, yeah, you could I could people could be like, yeah, guy looks better, but if I was standing next to you, it'd be a different story. Hold on, oh, we see that you look amazing. Are we good, or we have to watch the whole thing? No, I'm gonna watch your whole fucking ridiculous routine, so you can kiss my ass. I'm not gonna put a routine up. I'm gonna put mandatories up. I'm a no, 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 I just want to see. Your I'm, little a, little I'm a real man. I don't put this posing shit up. I didn't even hit the most muscular yet. Well, at least let me hit one of them. Or happen right. a back double bicep for you. What happened to your glutes? Why are they soggy in the middle? <laughs> My ass was so hungry, it ate it. Where, where's your lower back? Where's your lower back? Your back just stops right here? No, it's right there where the lines are. See that? Where? I don't see it. It's like paper thin. <laughs> Look at it. Where is your lower back? It disappeared. <laughs> it was like, it can't be perfect, right? <laughs> That's a good shot. That's, That's a good, a good shot. look, man. Yeah. Just one. Hi. That's good, man. You look good there. I've never, I don't yeah, think I've ever seen you look yeah. that good. I think that's the best I've seen you. <clears throat> I have never. I haven't studied your photos or anything. That's the best I've fucking seen you for sure. Did you win that show? Fucking one legged duck swim in a circle. <laughs> it does actually. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> All right, let's see. Oh, you got to be quick with it, son. Uh, skip that. We'll skip that. We'll skip that. This. Wow, one. I let you actually pick. I I picked a year. You picked, you picked it. The, I picked a year. You picked the show. Okay, well, I'll pick a year. You want to pick a year? Fine, 2015. Okay. What'd you do same, one show? Same year as you. There you uh, go. Where are you going? Right here, boom. Going? Right here, boom. Now you lost. No, I didn't, dude. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> I, I, I weigh 258 here, so I'm literally 50 pounds heavier than you. And just as fucking lean. Look at that. See the glutes, they're hard all the way into my ass. Uh, I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't <laughs> see, see my back. See where my back stops. I don't see, I don't see no, my, don't see my no, back, my back goes all the way, my back stops down here, not up here like yours. No, th those are, those are fat turtles. That's not really. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, look That's at your that. First win, I win. That's your first win. There's no weak points. Yeah, what's that little, what's that little flap of skin by your lower butt? This that's literally skin. Well, that's, <laughs> right, I, don't, I, don't have that. I don't, I'm just saying. Find a weak point, guy, quick. Uh, huh? Find a weak point, quick. The haircut for some starters. That's a <laughs> bomb haircut. You know that is. Uh, where's the hamstring from the side? I didn't really understand. I it. tore that one. It's on the other side. Well, it said, said you should get a new posing coach. <laughs> quick, find quick, 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 find something. Uh, absolutely, absolutely washed out. It's almost over. You only have 10 <laughs> seconds to find a weak point. Uh, I don't see a lot of frustrations in the outer quad there. That's not a pose for it. I'm not putting my foot down. That's not impressive. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yourself. <laughs> all right, we're back. You look so now, good. All right. I, I give know. you a fucking seven and a half out of 10. I give me eight out of 10. Fuck that. <laughs> How can you give yourself more if I beat you? Because that clearly, I don't think you Well, did. in the in the 212, I'll give you an eight and a half. But in the open where the men play... <laughs> Then I'll take a seven and a half or an eight. That's How many wins I'm... do you have, guy, in your career? Fuck, uh, guys, got like, guys got like eight wins, man. You got that many? Seven, yeah. Holy shit, that's impressive. Yeah. Guy's the fucking Why, man. You think I suck, Paul? No, I do. You're a good bodybuilder guy. I just, I was just your, win, your record is understated, guy. <laughs> it you. is. Like, you don't, you don't, you don't. For as uh, loud as you are, for as loud as you are, your record is very understated. <laughs> No, it's true. You, 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 right? You'd think so because he's he's like out there, but you don't talk about that a lot. No. Oh. Yeah, if well. I won eight shows, the whole fucking world would know. <laughs> You'd have a shirt. <laughs> I'd have a shirt. Yeah. I'd have a shirt. <laughs> I'd have a shirt that eight shows. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna get Anyways. a team seven shirt. What's going on, guy? You started your prep, and so did actually Ben. You started your prep too. Who wants yeah. to go first, Ben? What's your prep like so far? More food, less food, more cardio. What'd you start? Anything new? Nothing really. We just dropped in a carb cycle, high and low days. I just alternate one high day, one low day, one high day. And that's it so far. That's Nothing the only different. like that's the only new thing that you've added. Yeah, I, like I took my rest day food and we, I train on that day now. Yeah, it doesn't matter. And then some days on a rest day, I have my high day as well, and it's just oh, across the week I'm I'm dropping I'm down like six pounds. What show is it that you're shooting at? 
Phoenix Europa. Phoenix Europa, and it's it's, it's the same. Um, it's the same day that, uh, or same weekend that Ian's doing Tampa. Tampa. Eight, uh, the, yeah. And it's uh, is it a uh, national qualifier or like moves you up to the next level? I don't know. I don't care. I'm just doing a show. All right, take it easy. Let's not. Play. No, I don't know. I, okay, I don't. <laughs> I genuinely don't know. You're I lying. Know. You're I, lying. I think You're Hand on my heart, I have no idea. Do you know if they award pro cards? I picked, I don't know. I promise you, I didn't know. I picked the show because it matched our schedule. Denise isn't working any weekend, and it was a because she has to work all of the Texas shows, so I couldn't do one in Texas, and that was there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I promise you. And all right, it was I the, believe you. And it's the Phoenix Europa, so because Phoenix is called Phoenix, I was like, fuck it, I'll do that one. Okay, all right, we'll find it. It works, because, well, it it works the same like over here, Fred. What do you like mean? You do, like there's regionals and there's pro qualifiers. That's why I meant. Like, is it the one? It's the one before probably that leads them to the pro qualifier. I would imagine. Yeah. I think I think this would qualify me for, qualify me for an international if I want it. Yes. Yeah. Okay. I don't think it's a pro card. No, there's no pro. No, there's not. If you okay, let's play this game. If you go, if you win, are you going to go on to that next show this year? Or are you going to wait another year? I have no idea. I actually had this conversation with Patrick. Um. And I think he's delusional, but whatever. He was like, you know, I think if we can do well and bring the look that we want, you could be have a very unique look at a super heavyweight. And I said, yeah, unique as in under fucking sized, but whatever. Wow. Um, he, I don't know. he just thinks I have a, a slightly different strike, a structure that not many open class amateur shows would have. What? Uh, how tall are you? Six one or six two? Yeah, six one. Six one. I mean, you're gonna have height on your side too. So if you can, if you can at least balance it out. Yeah, he, the, wants me, it, he wants me around two fifty five ish on stage. If the gains you made in your back stay, then I think you look good. It's just it's a tough thing because when you work on a weak body part, it's usually it's the, the first thing. thing it's the first thing to go when you start dieting down. So you have to see yeah. how much of it is going to stick around through your diet. I mean. We'll see because in in the past every fucking muscle group has disappeared. So we'll fucking yeah, see. but you also we also haven't had Patrick helping you, and I know. No, I'm I'm very confident. Um, in when I say this, I'm confident that I'm going to look completely different to how I, I've ever looked. Yeah, I think so too. I can't I can't control who else turns up, and I'm not even that's not yeah on my radar. It's just I ha I'm fully confident that whatever we do is gonna is gonna look very well. Good. One one of the things that um that you, you should be happy about is I know I'm pretty sure I know most of the other diets you've done. I don't think you've ever done a diet where somebody's fed you more leading in and, it, and Patrick's got a lot of carbs and a lot more food and you're going to be able to stay big. Look, my, my low day and he, he's pretty confident. We might have to do more low days, but he doesn't think we'll have to reduce the low day. It's 3,200. Well, you're not that, you're not that like you haven't gained that much fat this off season. no, I know we prioritize pushing, getting like building up my intake, you know, getting my food as high as possible without getting sloppy. How old so, are you, 31 or 32? Three. 33? Yeah, you're yeah, still young, man. If you can get a pro card in the next year or two, fuck, that's uh, I know it's not what you're thinking, but I, I like to think that for you. Anyway, I, I just want to be happy with how I look on stage, which yeah. so far I haven't done. So, well, that's what I tell everybody. You want to do your best and look the best you can look. And if you're good enough, you'll get a pro card. That's all there is to it. Um, guy, what's going on with you? Your first one weekend, yeah. And what changes? Any new changes, or just still kind of coasting through? A ton of food, ton. Well, you increased your food. Like my breakfast is absurd. What's your breakfast? Because the guy who can't eat six eggs, five whole, <laughs> egg, five whole eggs, fifty grams of carbs, some cream of rice, hundred fifty grams of berries, four pieces of toast with jelly. Are you serious? That's oh, that happens. sounds easy. That's that's a that's a snack. So five whole eggs, 50 grams of cream of rice, which is like nothing. 150 no, grams of carbs, 150 grams of carbs from cream of rice. Yeah, so like 80 grams. <laughs> Wait, 150 or 50? No, 50. 50 grams of cre carbs from cream of rice and 100 okay. grams Yeah, of that's carbs. like 75 grams of cream of rice, like uncooked. Yeah. Yeah, it's not yeah, a lot. It's not. So 50 grams, of, and then 150 grams of blueberries? Mixed berries, yeah. Mixed berries, that's good. Okay, that's a lot. Um, and then four pieces of toast, four pieces of any kind of toast or Ezekiel. Any, any, I use like pumpernickel rye. Yeah. Rye is good. Uh, right. What was it we were eating, Paul? Sourdough. Sourdough is really good. Yeah. Good. Sourdough is good. Sourdough. Yeah. Is, is that John? Awesome. John. John's yeah. doing your diet today? Chris. Yeah. Chris. Chris. Oh, Aceto? John's doing your training. That's right. Chris yeah, is yeah. doing your diet. Yeah. Oh, uh, Chris Aceto? Hmm? 
Chris Guy, you should uh <laughs> no the other Chris. Of course Chris Cicito. Where the fuck wow. is there another Chris? Let's um, let's let's figure Chris it out. Cormier. Chris Cormier. <laughs> Okay, um, good save. That's a good save. I apologize. That was, <laughs> okay. I, but that was a save. He did save, yeah. Um, what was, uh, do you, have you ever had sourdough or no? Yeah, it's awesome. Um, that's probably going to be my next pickup now. All right, so that's, okay, what's the next, the other meals look like? Anything crazy? That doesn't sound uh, like Eight ounces of chicken, cup and a half of rice, or no, yeah, eight ounces of chicken, cup and a half of rice, uh, 32 ounces of Gatorade when I train. What's with uh, the fucking Gatorade? I yeah. drink that's Cutler's thing. I've been doing it for over a year. Every okay, can you please out. get a real? I'm, I'm going to send you some intra, so like you can actually get real performance. Blackstone has one. I just like it. Jay swears by the Gatorade. Gatorade powder? Or don't be a meathead. Like, both, both. Don't you be mix a meathead. Powder into the Gatorade bottle? What's no, he, he he he. I have the powder, but <laughs> sometimes I just buy the Gatorade. Oh. I know I'll just buy a 32 ounce Gatorade. Okay, I was just curious for it. Sorry. No, because I'm gonna you're gonna show up to the gym tomorrow and you're gonna have a Gatorade. Gatorade. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I do. <laughs> and then I go a shake. So he's uh, like guy, he's like, guy, tell me, just a Gatorade? Is it Gatorade? <laughs> is there anything else in the Gatorade? You put, you put any amino acids in there or anything like that? <laughs> then it's shake and banana, chicken, cup of rice, chicken, cup of rice, and then uh shake and uh, cream of rice. It doesn't sound like a lot of food. But yeah, uh, I really, I, I can't get all six in. Really? Yeah, but yeah, it's probably because of the beginning though. Like, you know, yeah. you get, you get e it gets easier as you get through it, right? Mm -hmm. Like once you get to like 10, eight weeks. In the beginning, out. I'm like, fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I dropped like almost 10 pounds. When was your last cheat meal? Uh, Sunday. Was that the McDonald's you had? No, that was earlier in the week. I cheated all week. You're like, I got to start dieting. I'm going to get it all in all week yeah. long. I do well, that's why, that's why you lost fucking 10 pounds. I got 10 pounds. It's crazy. 10 that's, also, that's also why your appetite's fucked right now. <laughs> yeah. oh, Goddamn Mickey Dizzles. How was your McDonald's when you had it? Did you enjoy it? I, I, have, a, I have a little video coming, buddy. <laughs> I said you, you videotape? Yeah, I got your video. You smashing all the McDonald's. Yeah, I but I got it. myself pulling up, ordering. I got all that, but I want to know. Did you enjoy it? Because I know you've always ripped on me for eating McDonald's, so I want to know how much you liked it. And you want you, uh, should, apo you should apologize to me now. Order pound <laughs> regular cheeseburger was dog shit. Um, I didn't tell you to order a regular cheeseburger. Fries, yeah. were, fries. I said, I said, I said double cheeseburger. I actually laughed when I ordered the fucking diet coke. You have to <laughs> listen. It's Sugar. not because it's not because you're dieting. It's just because it tastes better. Yeah. It was when I said it, I was like, this lady's probably like, what the fuck. <laughs> Save the sugar, right? Yeah. <laughs> but they didn't have any breakfast. I asked Fuad specifically. I said, he's like, make sure you get a sausage and egg. And I go, it's 10 30 at night. He's like, they'll have it. Yeah. So I get a sausage and, egg and she's like, no, sir, it's 10 30 at night. I'm like, oh. They don't have oh, it they do here. They don't have it in Jersey. It's only like a oh. certain time. Yeah. Oh, really? Oh, we're, wow. we're luckier here, Paul. Yeah. Yeah. We got, we're spoiled. So, what's going on with your diet, Paul? Anything new? Do you add more, <laughs> do you add more fiber to your diet? Uh, no, I still have actually about to have a psyllium shake. Paul okay. eats fiber like a fucking bulimic chick. I have one psyllium because Paul will Paul, Paul will binge. Because I'm old guy. I need no, no. Because listen, this is what he does, guy. Paul will eat like an entire box of fucking Oreo cookies, like an entire thing, <laughs> and then he'll drink a psyllium shake and shit it all out. And he thinks it's good. Nothing First happens. I'll and I'll take a metformin too. <laughs> Whatever carbs do absorb, they go to my muscles. <laughs> well, that is might be the dumbest thing I've ever. Heard. <laughs> it works, though, guy. You should huh? talk to it doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> do you do you tan? No, everyone asks me that. I do not tan. I don't have high blood pressure. I got asked that all the time. I don't know why the hell my skin is red. I, was say, I don't know why. Back. I was gonna say maybe she got back on the Oreos and metformin combo. <laughs> I have no idea. I just got my blood pressure done a couple weeks ago. It really you look like you fucking get face tanned. I know, I know. Paul, you know what? You know what's do I look like this in person though? Yeah, you do. Do I? <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes it gets a light down here. No, it's not the light. You're, Does you're, it make it worse though? No, you're red. Yeah. Okay. You're, yeah. What, did, what, did, what did Stan say about it? He said if you uh, add a 10 minute bike ride after, then it, the Oreos just don't even count. You can just, <laughs> okay. do, do, oh, a, just do a 10 minute walk plus a bit for me. Okay. Okay. <laughs> anyway, um, you, should, you should walk while eating the cookies. <laughs> that's even better. There you go. Yeah. So that so that that that'll direct the curbs to my muscles. Exactly. You know, you, you know, you will laugh, right? I had a guy message me randomly on Instagram. He's like, "Oh, um, can you give me some advice? I've been doing this in my off season. Every time he has a cheat meal, 
he takes I can't remember whether it was a uh, diazide or something oh at night. Yeah. So he's like, oh, so I don't get the water retention the next day. I'm like, you're a <laughs> fucking idiot. Wow. <laughs> but yeah. this is what's wrong with bodybuilding. Stop it. There's, I know guys who used to take Dyrex before they went to the bar. Yeah, I know those. I know the same guys. They're we fun. all have those. Yeah. yeah, that's crazy. Or they before they went to the beach. Night. Yeah, or vacations even. Yeah. yeah. I, I know one thing for sure, and I know I've heard this. I, I should, we should address this because it's, it's a total myth. <clears throat> there's literally no drug i don't know i've never tried dnp so i can't say i can't say this absolutely but out of all the drugs i have tried like t3s and fucking gh and igf there is no fucking drug that will counter eating complete dog shit no you're gonna look shitty if you eat dog like people but i know but the common thing i always hear is like oh, oh i heard if you take gh you can eat whatever you want and i'm like yeah. i haven't fucking experienced that man yeah you're gonna like, feel like shit and you're gonna look like shit you still get fat like it's not yeah, yeah you can you can eat what you want but there's a consequence so carry yeah. on yeah yeah yeah, yeah. so yeah. anyway um questions guys you want to get into them? well what are you doing hey well what are you doing no one asked you didn't ask you what are you doing uh nobody cares what i'm doing i'm just the, i do i'm just the host we all care for it i'm good <laughs> thank, <laughs> thank, thank you paul <laughs> uh, <you know. laughs> um uh, nothing. I'm getting bigger, man. I fucking weighed in at 289 this morning, and uh, I feel like I'm getting a little leaner at this weight. So things are good. I've been eating. Are you, are, I've are been on the last time. Are you the last time we so the last time we spoke, you said you were having trouble like filling out. Yeah, I think it was the GH I was using. Yeah, you're looking okay. different now. I start. I switched to a different brand of GH, and I hate to say this, but I think the GH I was using may not have been as good as I thought it was. Mm. it could be i don't know i didn't i don't think i've really changed anything else and all of a sudden i just started looking rounder and fuller i'm like okay this this now makes more sense because i was like everything i was doing was right like i was eating all the right food yeah. wasn't cheat wasn't cheating a lot me and paul are fucking training our asses off yeah we had great workouts this and week. my every time i took photos i'm like i fucking look worse and uh i'm not going to name any names but somebody i was actually talking to was like hey man maybe you should switch these couple things right so I got mm. a different different brand of GH, and all of a sudden I'm like, things starting to round out again. Water kind of retaining in the muscle, like pumps are getting a little bit better. Sleep is getting a little bit better. Yeah. And all of a sudden I start gaining weight, so I'm like up up nine fucking pounds in the last two weeks. Wow. So it feels yeah. like every, it feels like everything I was doing now before is actually now working. That I'm like I've helped it with a couple of extra things. Do you think? Do you think that maybe it's not so much that it was bad GH, it's just being on the same type of GH for a long time and then no. ch changing the type? No, no, because I don't know. Ben will correct me, I'm sure, but I don't. I've never. I don't think GH is something your body gets used to. It's not like it's, it's not like it's good, it's good. If, if it's good, it's good. You don't yeah. need to to change, and it would. Yeah, yeah. I think it was just not the greatest source. So anyway, so that um, I think that made a big difference, and then I don't know. I just I've been I've been more focused. I've been we took we hired some more people at Hostile, so some of the day to day stuff got taken off my plate. So. I was able to kind of focus a little bit more on making sure I get all my meals in, blah, blah, blah. So everything's going good. I, I feel like I, I don't ever want to fucking say anything, but it feels like we're just talking to friends and nobody's listening. So yeah, I forget sometimes, but if things keep going the way they're going, I'd like to try and do one more show, but I'm not saying I will. So nobody fucking say anything. I just, um, I, I just, it's always in my head. So until, until I can finally just cut that corner and say, look, I'm not going to compete again. I'm gonna keep yeah. on train, keep on training this way. You still got something in the basement. There's still something in the basement, Paul. There's still something down. There's still something. Gotta call Rocky. Gotta call Rocky. <laughs> yeah, no, but it. The problem with having something in the basement when you're boxing versus something in the basement when you're bodybuilding is, I can't control if my legs want to grow again or not. You know what I mean? I so, yeah. if my legs don't fill back out, I'm not, I'm not gonna get on stage. Yeah. And some people message me and they're like, yeah, but you're going to regret it forever. I'm like, no, no, I've already had a great career. I don't regret anything. Yeah, I think it'd be if the I, reverse. If I do one more, it'll just be for fun, but I don't want to do it if I'm going to look like ass. Yeah, yeah. but, but so, if you did do it and didn't look the way you want, then you'll, you'll regret Then I would that. regret doing it. You're yeah. right. I would be yeah. like, oh, fuck, I shouldn't have done that. That was stupid. Yeah. So, <clears throat> yeah, we'll just see how things go. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not, I, I'm just, you know what, Ben? I'm just training. Cause I love to train with the flow, bro. Yeah. I'm just doing what I want to do. And if it works out, it works out. If it doesn't, then, but I'm going to make yeah. a decision. I'm going to make a decision this year for sure. Like 
if I don't compete this year, then I'm going to retire and I'm probably going to drop like 50 pounds. And then me and Guy can compete against each other. Oh, bitch. <laughs> um, all right. First, first guy. And I, you know, I don't like to do these, but sometimes they're fun. I'll just rate my physique. Yeah, I thought we'd do one. Oh, <laughs> Jesus. Why you don't want to do it, Ben? He does. I just, I, yeah, no, you go, you carry on. I'm just you don't yeah, want you to... carry on. Just... I try like I at first I try to be constructive and then all hell breaks loose. They're like, you're a piece of shit, bro. I'm like, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> no, we're not gonna roast. We're not gonna roast. We're gonna Isn't that what a rate my physique is? Uh, no, it's see, great. see, clarify. What, what are what are we trying to achieve here? Are we trying to rip the guy in you? Also, nine so percent of the time, these guys we're doing constructive criticism. We're not doing <laughs> just criticism for the sake of it. All right, let's see. Criticism with a little funny. This is Preston Jackson. He looks damn good. Yeah, he's thick. All right, his legs. Great legs, great calves. Yeah. 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 More, more, more chest. I see chest and shoulder too. Yeah. yeah. Well, I don't see them, but yeah, it's a bit narrow. But he's there, so. <laughs> take it easy, Ben. <laughs> ben comes, remember, yeah, remember ben we comes say, out and he comes in with a missile. Ben, yeah, I know. <laughs> Ben's like, Ben's like don't be so harsh on the guy. Where is his chest and his shoulders? <laughs> 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 like a fucking torpedo. <laughs> Look, if you can grow your calves that big, you can grow your fucking chest. Like that's not true. And this, you know, his shoulders look pretty good here. His chest looks okay. His chest looks okay. His arms too. actually look flat from the side. Yeah, back. Flat flat. High last. You know what the problem is? is, is his legs are so good. Oh, that yeah. really, his legs are really fucking good. Are they ever? He's pretty yeah. fucking lean. Who's he dying? Yeah. Hamsters are good too. He's leaner in the lower body than he was in the upper body. Yeah. Which is, yeah. All flat. right. So, Weird. Paul, you're the judge. So, we'll let you go first. What do you, what, think, do you what do you think of this back double? Let's just go back double. What do you think? Here? He, he needs more back for sure. He needs more back mass. Where? Where? Anywhere or everywhere? Everywhere except for look, see, he's got thick traps. It looks like, but other than that, like he's, he's got. So he could use more. Side. He could use more lat, like down here. Lat, lat and thickness too down the middle. All right. Uh, so there's one one thing I want to add to this whole rate your physique thing because somebody said it and I think they're right. What is the main thing? And Ben, I'll let you go first. What is the main thing he can do to increase his lat thickness? Is there one or two things you can point out? What in terms of exercise selection? Yeah, and... like something to do in the gym. Like, yeah, not fucking how he should jerk off better. I mean, like, yeah, in the gym. Like, <laughs> is there something you I can do, do in the gym? Well, I grip. I, I found a lot of value in um in those high single arm cable pulls. Yeah, a bunch of people have seen me and Hunter do them. Oh right? yeah, yeah, just, where you're against the bench. You're, you're, yeah, yeah, and you're pulling down, and but I also like to get a little bit of kind of lean into like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lean you know, into that, it a bit. Yeah. Cause, yeah, because the way the lat works is it actually helps to, like, it pulls the spine slightly off center line, right? In whichever mm -hmm. way you're going. So I would work on that, but drive the elbow, keep your elbow really tight to your rib cage in a straight line down through, because that's the way the lat, the line of pull works on the lap. Okay. So, so you, you think that, but I'm going to go meathead on you and I'm going to say barbell rows or T bar rows. I bet I bet you he's been pounding T bar rows and barbell rows. That's why his upper back's so thick. So thick, yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna I'll just say this. Oh, Underhand this. rows. Mm -hmm. if, me, and, me and Ben are for sure gonna get an argument now. <laughs> but I'm just gonna Fuck. say it. I'm gonna say it anyway. For the people listening, and for this guy also, if he hasn't been, I think you could get more back mass out of some of the traditional lifts like T bar rows or barbell rows before doing okay. cable but stuff. I bet you, if you scroll down, I, he, he might make me look a cunt now. Yeah, I bet you he's doing cable stuff already. I, <laughs> <laughs> no, I bet you, I bet you he's doing heavy fucking barbell rows or gonna, some sort of heavy row. We're gonna well, find don't out. Me down. Don't is a deadlift? What's that? What's that? If he's deadlifting, he's definitely doing rows. Yeah. Yeah. Hang on, he might he might row this. So no, he's not. It's four. It's so he's four not plates. That. He's deadlifting. It's here again. I don't what know. about chins or wide grip pull downs to get wider? Wide grip pull. I like chins a lot. No, that's going to be good for width, but I'm talking about lat thickness. Yeah. I feel like you need some width too on those lats. All right. Well, well they're like back like 20 years. He's got a best. Yeah, I know. He's got a bunch of deadlifts. Okay. Well, anyways, those are some tips. What else do you see here, Paul? Shoulders good? Shoulders are good, but he's, he's narrow. In the, you know, just his structure is narrow. What about uh, his arm? Is are his arms good? Like the muscularity of it? It looks like the triceps are a little bit lacking, a little bit. Bicep peak, maybe a little bit, but he's got thick shoulders, eh? Um, so yeah, maybe he's got to bring his arms up. 
Big rear delts for sure. I, okay. Yeah, his arms need to come up a little bit to match his shoulders, I think. Yeah, he's got big rear delts because he keeps heavy fucking rowing. Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> heavy fucking rowing. All right. Other than this being kind of not a good pose for him. Yeah. And we also obviously know his legs are great. Yeah. What do you see here? Anything? Me? Better, better. Yeah, Paul. What do you yeah, think? I would I would try to put more more a uh, little bit more size on the triceps, especially. His biceps look bigger there. They look fuller there. Um, but his triceps need some more size, but it looks a bit. And I would try to work on his caps on his delts to give him the illusion yeah. of, uh, yeah. you know. Side chest, what do you think? Yeah, his arms, as you can see, his arms are a bit weak there, eh? especially the triceps, it looks like. Okay, so his arms are the main point we're kind of. Yeah. I feel I would like say his, ba- his back needs a lot of work too, though. Definitely, yeah. yeah. Well, how old I is he? Like, I don't know how old. Oh, he looks young. He's 5'5", 225, but it doesn't say his uh, his age. I would say. Oh wait, now he does. He does. He put put it below. Twenty one years old. He's young, man. Oh fuck, oh, he's fuck me. Yeah. Holy shit. He's yeah. Good. yeah. I think he could. I'm going to assume he's training legs twice a week. If he's training legs twice a week, he should take one of them out and train his back twice a week. Yeah. Yeah, I would do. I would do a width day and a and a a thickness day. That's it. Worked best for me for building my back. I did a width day where <clears throat> I'm sure many of DMs about this. So I'll just say it. So you do your width day on like Monday. Or pick a day, you do your width day where it's all pull down stuff, you know, like wide grip, close grip, reverse grip, all that shit. And then you pick another day that's all your thickness in rowing movements. So you do your deadlifts, your barbell rows, your T-bar rows, bends, cable stuff, all that stuff. If you want to throw that in at the end. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I'm you're not... gonna do that or this eat that <laughs> or that <laughs> listen we're making fun of you but or I'm, I'm being an asshole but me and me and uh paul did those yesterday we trained back we did those we did that cable movement yeah so i know it works okay so basically we're saying arms and back is probably the biggest priority for this guy i like his overall leg development is phenomenal at 21 yeah yeah glutes, sure. glutes hams calves quads everything is crazy but his yeah, back yeah. definitely needs to come up to match for sure yeah okay so what are we saying out of for 21 years old on an amateur level what are we saying i give an eight at least eight, nine. eight and a half nine yeah fuck yeah. Yeah. i'm not i'm not gonna go to a nine because back I is go. such a big deal i'm yeah. gonna go I'm, I, I'm i'm seeing the potential though so i'm going to nine if you can yeah are you going currently like? I'm just going to go on what he looks like here. I'm going to say seven and a half. I got a talk. That... Could be an eight. Could be an eight. Could yeah. Eight. Yeah. I think an eight. I think, be, I think you'd give him an eight if he posed better because I think a lot of his back shots, he's not opening his back. Yeah. yeah. Sure. I was going to yeah, say that. I, was gonna, he's, he's, he's he's double. I think he can open that up a lot wider. I think yeah, he's I, definitely I think lacking I... in the bicep peak, the lat, and the chest development to be like any higher in my book. I think yeah. if I saw him in person, I'd probably give him more than an eight. It just, excuse me, the back shots are, I feel like back is such an important body part. I mean, Paul, you've judged shows before yeah. where you told, remember that one show, it was, what fuck was it, the Canadian Nationals? I know what you're talking about. There that was one there huge, was, yeah, there was that one, Asian dude? one Asian guy who looked like a fucking pro, yes. right? Everywhere. But his back looked like it belonged on a lightweight. This guy was like a yeah. super really? heavy. Yeah, and that's yeah, the yeah. that's the that's the story of most Asian bodybuilders. They're good from the front, and the wheels are good, and then they tend to the back. Their back is a little bit. Yeah, yeah. yeah, this guy was so dominant in every pose. But as soon as he turned around, and it wasn't just a weak point; like he did not have a back. Yeah, you guys should have seen this though. It was incredible to see everything else be so developed and just like nothing in the back. It was so me. weak. This it was so on. weak that even. <laughs> <laughs> no, we said he had dominant everything else. Oh, yeah. Shit. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and wow, that's disrespectful. <laughs> Fuck you guys. You guys, you guys take shots at me all the time. All right. Um, Who does? That's not true. Okay. Let's move on. What's one thing that should be taught in school that isn't? Finances. Uh, somebody go first. Paul, go first. Finances, like personal money management. Guy, what do you think? etiquette man you said you said respect first etiquette yeah like same yeah. etiquette respect how do yeah. you teach that what do you do what do you mean just tell well, people to hold I doors for people and shit yeah, i think i i just think the overall just lack of disrespect in just in general is awful i don't think that should be taught in school though because the par- if the parents aren't doing it the teacher ain't gonna do it i said etiquette not respect after i said oh. respect 
I swap swapped it to etiquette because etiquette's more of a school thing. Yeah, yeah, makes sense. Ben, what do you think? You have a son that's going to be going to school in a few years. <sighs> that's terrifying me. Yep. Anything? I don't know. Cooking. Cooking. I have cooking. I have cooking. In motherfuckers, motherfuckers can't cook to save it, like to feed themselves. Yeah, I actually had a. Now you can. You can air fry a fucking egg. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck's I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with Paul. One thing I wish people would have taught me is like taxes, fucking you know, yeah. inv- investing, stocks, like all that shit. Right. Yeah. I think. I think if more people learned how to fucking handle their Bitcoin, I, I wish someone had taught me fucking Bitcoin before I spent yeah. a bunch of fucking money on it. Yeah. <laughs> hey, yeah why? Lo- is Bitcoin good or bad? If you treat it the way I did, it's fucking bad. It's bad if you you're money. Ben. <laughs> <laughs> did, did you just buy some Ben like recently? I was just dicking around. I'm like, oh, this looks like a good idea. And I was like, bought a bunch of it. And then it went, <laughs> I was like, oh, well, fuck that sell. <laughs> like I, 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 I do investment stuff, but I stick to what I know. Yeah. And then I was like, oh, I'm just because one seems to be chatting about Bitcoin. And I didn't, I did fuck all research and just took a punt at a random one and yeah. it backfired. So, I did the same thing. I did the same thing with marijuana stocks. So they, I knew all these. Go, hey, go, f- go figure that fucking. Yeah, I know. Yeah, but, all about me. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, I might, I might, as well, might as well invest in what I use, right? So um, I know all these guys have made a lot of money on it. They bought in when it was starting up, and these companies are worth nothing. And then they just skyrocketed. So I was like, fuck, yeah. I want some of this. So I bought in high and then sold low, lost everything. Yeah. Smart. That's what I heard you're supposed to do. Buy really high and, <laughs> yeah. and sell it when it's more oh, bottom. The motherfucking opposite of like life. You did. <laughs> I, actually did, I actually did. I did really well last year when COVID hit and, and everything just fucking bottomed out. And I bought a bunch of different stock from airlines and oil and stuff like that. Yeah, and I that's picked, Like I still got all of that and it's doing really well now, but. That made me a bit cocky, so I was like, "Oh, anyway, I'm <laughs> I know what I'm doing now." No, I fucking don't. <laughs> no, I've never, you know, I've never bought any stock. It's like one of those things that I feel like if you don't have, never I, have either, bro. I'm right with you. I've said it to I'm Paul. Right with you. I said it to Paul before. I'm like, if you don't have money that you can throw away, don't do it because there's a chance you could lose it. Yeah, and I'm like, I, sure. I'm not. I don't. I'm not like fucking. You go do do like do you go to casinos and shit and, and gamble or no? For for fun, but I always put a cap. I'm Me like, too. I got a hundred bucks is my cap. I take a hundred. No, like done. I'll literally go there with like three hundred bucks and play blackjack, and I'm like, I know I go there knowing I'm going to lose it. And you're okay with it? Yeah, because it's yeah. Three, yeah. See, and my cap a, is my cap is whatever's in my bank account <laughs> at the time. That's generally. Oh no, 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 yeah. No, no, and that's what I mean. Like that's why I wouldn't. I don't. The thing is, it's not that I think it's a bad idea. I just don't know enough about it. Well, you should always, you should hire somebody, you know, to handle your money for you. Somebody who knows what they're doing. You give them a little bit of a fee, you know, whatever. My, yeah. I, I do. I have that. I yeah. just don't do my own personal. I don't invest my own shit in like, big. I don't. Yeah. I, I do that too. Like I have someone for like the kids RESPs and stuff yeah, like and that's that. Bad, yeah. Yeah. But then I just had like a little bit of money that was for like this pension from an old job that I could pay with that I couldn't touch anyways. I thought I'd play with it. Yeah, I kind of yeah. enjoy it though. Week, I kind of enjoy bro. it though. It's, like, it's yeah. fun watching it go up and down and ooh. Yeah, God. yeah. When you're up, it's great. You feel great about it. But <laughs> you watch it go down, you're like, oh, this sucks. Yeah, I don't feel like I have enough money yet to to put on that shit. I don't either. Like when I want to, you know, if I have, I mean, everybody has their own version of what enough money yeah. is. But I feel yeah. like, you know, if you're putting like, you know, a couple thousand dollars, I don't know. It's like, what are you really going to get back out of it? Yeah. Like I said, this was just money I can't touch anyways. So yeah. I think, and it's not, and it's not a lot of money. It's not going to affect my retirement. So I just thought, you know what? I'll see what I can do with it. And, and it do well. I'm going to have to one day if I want to ever get that yacht though. Mm-hmm. Well, you guys cut back on the sushi, put it into your shares. <laughs> and yeah. you, you just need to re once, like, once, once a week. You're fucking take your redirect. stuff. Redirect. Just, just redirect <laughs> your finances. And the minute you have the money, you're just wasting it on shit. Once a week. Actually, I haven't got sushi in a couple of weeks, so I got sick of it because I was eating it so much. <laughs> <laughs> hard, hard life to live. You have. And then, uh, and then McDonald's. I also, I only had once, like in the last month. So your arteries, thank you. That's yeah, no. that's why that's why that's why my McDonald's stock has dropped, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, when's Paul coming out with his own brand of fiber product? No, <laughs> there you go. That, that's a good idea. I never thought about that. We, call it call it bulimia. I don't know what I would call um, that. 
Call it Paulie's Purple Haze. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you get put some THC in there too, so you get high. You go, bro, game oh, winner. Yeah. You fucking get high and go to sleep. And you and you take a nice big shit first. Yeah, in the morning, wake up, yeah. with a clean ass. Yeah, be great. Empty stomach. I don't <laughs> we'll see to fight you down. Maybe your guy will go partners on this. That's a great idea. What are you going partners on? The fiber. We're get a, a fiber with THC. Instead of calling it high C, like the drink, we'll call it high S. I don't get, get high, take a nice shit. <laughs> <laughs> or we call it high C, H I T, and C for crap. I don't use any fiber supplements. You were for a little while. No, I tried it one once. I take fiber every day. Do one you really? Before, oh, yeah? before, before bed, every day, every night. What do you take, guy? What kind? I. <laughs> oh, is it? What kind? Your sponsor? You can't no, tell. no, I actually can. My sponsor wouldn't care. The guy drinking the fucking coffee would care. What's the it's, what's the ingredient? What's the main? Oh, I know, I ingredient? know where it's from. Uh, no, <laughs> don't in, fucking say that shit. I'm down Fuck. in Florida. You better not be fucking using that shit. It's the only fiber that works. No, I don't think I don't think Metamucil we're talking about. Suck. I don't think we're talking about the oh, same thing, guy. I love that. Ben's talking about the right guy. Uh, then then I don't care. Ready? Yeah, you do. Florida? Not Blackstone, bro. Down, yeah, down in Florida. Down in, down in, I'm going to text you, Fred. Yeah, yeah go ahead. <laughs> hold on, Ben. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Ben, before you text him, let me fucking hold on. Hold on. Let me WhatsApp you. <laughs> let me make sure we're on the same page. This isn't good for... It doesn't matter. Oh, I was going to... Actually, Guy, reply to the last fucking WhatsApp message. Oh, oh okay. I just texted you. <clears throat> go ahead and text me so I know what the fuck you're talking about. And now nobody's watching. Hold on. Oh, ben, yes or no? Yeah. You want me to text? I'll text them. Yeah. This is not good for the people watching. They're going to be like, well, you guys are assholes. I, I don't know what's going on either. I don't, I don't have a problem. I just know you do that. I don't want to fucking well, crap your sideways. Oh, I don't give a fuck about that. I don't give a shit if you use his products. Use Fiber Lies. Yeah, by, by, by Palumbo. Yeah, I don't give a fuck. Uh, well, me, how come Ben was on the same page as me? So don't come at me fucking sideways. <laughs> <laughs> Christ Almighty, your best friend was like, no, no, I have, I have no problem. No, I have no problem. I don't have a problem with Dave. I was just trying to. I, be respectful. Luke and I used to use that fibrilizer all the time. It's awesome. Yeah, it's, it's, I no lie, I've been using that product since he's come out with it, and I, I order it and buy it. Every, like I buy, I buy a case at a time. It's like twelve in a case. He uses yeah, soy husk in it. Yeah, he used a, lot, a couple different things, and it's really oh, good. It's a couple things, okay. But Fred doesn't use fiber until Hostile brings out fiber, and then yeah, yeah. then it's a best then, thing then I'm going to start saying I use fiber, and it's awesome. Yeah, yeah, and you'll lie and say I've always used it. <laughs> I've, I've, never, I've never done that, Paul. Fuck you. <laughs> it helps. No, I think I really, it, I can feel a huge difference in my gut health when I take it. Oh, me it. too. I will. I will try it. I will try it. I did try. Oh. It. I told you. Well, no, I don't I, that's that's not fiber true. Now and, yeah, that's true. Wait a minute. It's now, every time he shits, Paul, he's going to be th thinking of me and you, which is very weird. No, no he won't think of me. No, listen, he's lying because I tried fiber, like a fiber supplement, like two weeks ago because he was telling me, like, you have to, man. You'll feel better. And I'm like, okay. So I try one. I'm like, it gave me the worst stomach ache fucking if ever. That's, if it's not good, that's, that's what Metamucil does to me. I don't fuck with that. That's why. Really? Dave, I love that. Yeah, no, Dave's fuck. Dave's Fiber Lies is is the best. The best. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna order some, and try it. And I will be honest. I don't I don't care. If fucking, listen. Dave has Fiber Lies. It's awesome. You know, you with me. I was. I, I me and Ben were fucking right. I know you guys eye. are protecting the podcast. First I, time. I, I, first I time me and Ben have ever been eye to eye. No, it's all good. Um, it's five does, five. It, does, does it taste good? <laughs> hey, Paul. We're not doing an infomercial for it. Like, say it is. I'm curious. Fred, I'm just, I'm just Fred, joking. Fred's going to buy a bunch. Steal some. Try some for us when he gets it. Does, okay. it taste, does it taste good, guy? I honestly mix it right in. Yeah, I just buy fruit punch and mix it in with my vanilla protein before I go to bed and drink that. And, and you can't taste anything? Like it, it doesn't, doesn't taste bad? It, it tastes good. good. Yeah, yeah. I don't fuck with my protein. Like, if I'm having a whey shake, I leave it on its own. I don't start adding fruits to it. And Yeah, but he's saying yeah, it adds a fiber shake. I just add the fiber to it so I don't have to drink two different things. Yeah, yeah I, would, I would probably do that too. Fruit punch. It's fruit punch and he adds it to vanilla. I couldn't do that. Yeah, but it would make the vanilla's bland. You can add you ever have a it. fucking like fruity pop tart with like vanilla icing on it. It's the same shit. Yeah, you don't add anything to your vanilla shakes. That's why people buy vanilla so they can add stuff to it. Yeah, you can. It's no, no. it must be an English thing. 
I uh, I use it with, with amino acids. <laughs> one, one English guy said this. Yeah, I was like, I'm English guy. Fuck him. Fuck him. Fuck those guys. Um, opening up a business soon, but the paperwork is killing me. Tips on how to keep going strong. Keep going. Do the fucking paperwork, bro. Shut up. Yeah. What? <laughs> Stop being a pussy. What do you mean? What tips? You can't fucking, there's nothing you can do. You have to keep working. Can't do we, yeah, we can't teach you how to not be a bitch. <laughs> uh, have you ever been with a girl that can lactate milk without ever having kids? My girlfriend can squeeze it out. That can't happen. Can it? I thought that's only when they have kids. Can you, guys, like I have. <laughs> Look at <him>. <laughs> <laughs> Guy, you've been with a fucking girl with no kids that can lactate milk? Really? I didn't know that was a thing. Did you try and suck it out on purpose? I want to know. She made, she made him wear a diaper and everything. And <laughs> did you, did you, do it, you lay like in her arms and like, let yeah. me suck on your tits you like I'm a that. baby. <laughs> you did too. Look at you. You did totally know it. <laughs> that's, that's I took all that colostrum right to the fucking mouth. <laughs> 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 you fucking had a girl like that? Why would she be lactating if she had no kids? Yeah. Dude, listen, I don't ask questions. It wasn't like it was fucking shooting out like a hose. It just squirted out a little bit. Yeah, a little driplets. Were they big tits? Uh, like a C cup or a D? Or a B? Come on. <laughs> no, uh, no, they were no, they were small. Small tits. Big, air, big like nipples? Big areoles? No, no, like pepperonis? No. Hey, do we have to give you, you two guys a moment here? <laughs> Paul, Paul, we'll step aside because this sounds like it's getting. I'm, just... <laughs> I'm trying to, I'm trying to picture what's happening. <laughs> it's like the beginning of a porno. Oh, <laughs> right, uh, put, for, right, put both your hands visible on the fucking screen. I do not trust them. <laughs> it is a visual. I had to test it. <laughs> Try to picture a guy sucking. You are a sick, sick fuck, bro. <laughs> Keep your hands in you sight. Uh, Look, he took God. He wanted it to be like the grossest <laughs> dude. <bro. laughs> he wanted like some like leopard spotted like pepperoni sauce areola veiny. with like <laughs> dribbling <laughs> fucking like gooey milk. Yeah. <laughs> you know the veiny tits is like like ve- you can see veins all going through them. Uh, like <laughs> water, they're, they're like they're like a white water balloon. <laughs> Holy fuck, man. I don't know what the fuck we talk about on this shit sometimes. Oh <laughs> I'm sweating now, bro. Sweat. My back is soaked. Um, okay. Oh. What advice would you give teenagers pursuing bodybuilding as far as training, coaching, money management, etc.? <sighs> don't get a coach, eat a lot, train hard, and wait till you're in your fucking 20s and do all that other shit. Yeah. Teenager? <laughs> yeah. This is so. It's such a. It's such a broad question. It's like, yeah. What would you give somebody advice on training, coaching, money management, etc. Like, what am I supposed to write a whole program? Like, yeah. Just stick to the basics. and eat a lot of food. Yeah, we need more specific questions. It's not. Well, uh, you're the one filtering them. I don't. I'm not filtering. I'm just reading them as they come. Filter, up. filter them better. Okay. Next, <laughs> uh, what happened? What do you mean on what? Why is he, why is Nick texting? What happened with what? Because I texted you a name and Nick's like, what happened? <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. Uh, all right. How many times do you use the same towel? For the shower? Yeah. I mean, no, for yes. your fucking ass. I don't know. Yeah, for your shower. Twice. Really? Twice? Well, it depends how dirty I am. If I'm really dirty once, but you guys stop texting. Every time I'm out of the shower, I'm not that dirty though. That's true. Yeah, I was gonna say if I'm dirty, what do you mean? <laughs> it doesn't when matter I, how dirty I am. Get out when of I the get shower. In, when I get out, I'm the same amount of clean. Hey Ben, <laughs> if I'm really dirty when I get in the shower, then I will use a towel once. <laughs> <laughs> but you're fucking wait, clean when you got you, out. <laughs> so wait, you only use you really only use a towel once? Paul said once or twice. Once or twice. Are what you, you fuck, you're purpose? lying? You want to change your answer? I'll leave, we'll, I'll edit that part out. Yeah. No, I once or twice. How many times do you use it? Like fifteen. No. I don't like a. Whoa. I don't like a damp towel. Right, damn towel. What do you mean, damp? I'm I'm in the middle. I'm like I'm right with Ben. I'm right with Ben. <laughs> Wait a minute. This fucking team. That's got to go. Team <laughs> that mildew infested. Fucking Wait a second. Towel? This fucking guy. Hours. Fifteen. <laughs> That you're wiping yourself with fucking moss, bro. Hey, wait a second. Seriously. <laughs> no, wait a second. This guy, just, this guy just said, I don't like to wipe myself with a damp towel. 
I yeah. get out of the shower, I dry myself and I hang it up. Yeah, it's true. not, it's not, not wait a minute. minute. Showers, shut up you for a second. It's two not, showers a day, it's right? Not, it's not damp the next time I use it, it's dried off. I, my, I, bro, my, it's not the be damp point. Huh? Wait, how is it dry with all the showers that you take? Do you have like an air dryer in your fucking more than bathroom? One, I have more than one fucking towel. But you still use them 15 times. Like, oh, oh, so you do, oh, oh, so you oh, got like, oh, you have like an AM and a PM. I have like towel. an AM PM. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, gonna 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 towel, I'm not gonna use a wet towel. I'm not gonna use a wet towel. Oh, that's, that's what I make? thought you meant. How many towels you got hanging up? Two. <laughs> oh, well, I just hang one up. You're fucking weird. Yeah, that's what? a little weird for me. You're I don't know fucking odd. How is, that, how is it weird? So you okay? Why would wait, you hang up two? So you shower in the morning, yeah. and then you shower again later. Isn't your towel still wet? Depends on how much later really? it is. Yeah. If it's like close together, yeah, but it's not like wet to where like it won't dr like dry me. So you yeah. you dry yourself off with a wet towel, and I'm fucking weird. It's not, it's not wet. You just said it's not fully dry. No, it, like if, if I shower at one o'clock and five o'clock, the towel's not fully dry, but it's That's not right. soaked. So why would you use it again? That makes no sense. So well, coming from the guy who uses it fifteen times and just says, yeah, I use two I different towel, two different towels though. Oh, so you use different towels a total of thirty times? No, fifteen times that eat like for both. That means we're using the same amount. So, 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 so you so, use wait a second. You use one towel a day twice. Well, that's even dirtier because wait a second. No, no, no. Both towels yeah. are sitting there longer now. Yeah. You use you use together. one towel a day twice for seven days. That's still fucking. That's still wait, fifteen times. I don't. Well, I don't. I don't do that. I don't use my my towels. Maybe. Three days max. So three, yeah, six dry, six drying. Yeah, three days. How the fuck? Three why, is four, it, yeah, bro, dude. why is your towel stink after three days? I tell you, stink after three days. I I change my sheets in my bed every week too because I sleep in them. That's fine. I'm saying your towel. How does your towel stink after three days? Uh, who says it stinks? Well, why'd you get rid of it then? <laughs> I don't wait to weed whack my towel to clean it, fool. <laughs> like, I, I, use my, I use my towel for five to seven days. <laughs> but I don't I'm wait for my towel to it's smell only, like I'm only drying dry. myself five to seven times with each towel. Yes, yeah. but just hold on. You just made a comment that made it seem like you only wash your towel when it starts to smell like shit. No, I'm <laughs> saying it's not. No, no, that's what you said. No, that's not totally so true. So your towel starts to smell after five to seven days, which no, insinuates no. that your towels stink. That's why you wait that long. And no, then you can you can kind of tell when it's not fresh anymore. It's not stinks. It's not fresh anymore. No, I don't okay, wait. Okay, that's I don't wait to get to that point, which I'm sure Ben doesn't either. I don't either. Yeah. So Ben, every no three shit, days, dude, you wait one time. Wait a minute. So I ben, like a fresh every, towel. Every five days, you get rid of your towel. Easy. I'll, I'll be honest. I don't do shit. <laughs> my towel is replaced every four to five days yes yeah that's what oh, i'm yeah. saying i said five days you guys are freaking the fuck out am i weird though that i change mine that often every day yeah that's no, yeah every day yeah that's here, crazy that's I, if i was your wife i'd kill you i would too I, you know what i do most of the laundry here though no wonder why yeah i guess yeah most it's mostly my stuff in the laundry but uh i don't think I don't know, I like towel a every five days is crazy that's a bit that's a bit excessive i think I don't think so. No, I don't know. Yeah, no. like how many towels do you guys have? Why don't you change them more often? I I have tons of towels, but I don't. Yeah, I, have, I don't need to. Ch I don't need to get rid of it every fucking day. Well, maybe every second day. <laughs> no, it's clean. See, I, I okay. So I I'm know. not. So, but with like, if I put on a pair of socks and wear them for five minutes and take them off, I won't put them back on. <laughs> okay. No, me either. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm not like a rat. Like, Wait a minute. Say that again. Say, guys, guys, say that again. If you put on a pair of socks and what? Take them off, and I take them off. It's a yeah, it's a wrap. Yeah, even if you only yeah. had them on for half an hour. I, no, yeah. they don't not go back. I, okay, yeah, I'm the same. Agreed. I'm the same. But I, but not for the same reason. I'm, I agree with you, but not for the same reason you though, you do it though. Underwear. Dude. <clears throat> I don't like when socks get that stretched, stretched out. out. Yeah. yeah. You point, oh, I thought you just your feet stuck, and you have to get rid of them. What do my feet fucking leak? <laughs> I don't, know. I don't know why you're getting rid of your socks. He's, he's I don't like it. that you just said. <laughs> I got, I got, I got, oily feet. Okay, so we agree on the socks. We don't agree on the towels. All right, what about underpants, though? If you get, yeah. see, oh. hypothet no, no, listen, hypothetically speaking, you shower, you put yeah. on fresh drawers, yeah. you put on fresh drawers, and then you and your missus get right into it. Yeah. New pair. You get, back, put, no. you get back in the, you get back in the shower. Oh, you put them back. See, I go. I'm a new. I'm fresh. No. Me too. New pair. If I've only if I only had them on for like ten minutes, I end up banging or something, and I'm putting them back on. Really? No, mine get mine. I, mine are dumb. Me no. too. 
See, so, but if I'm home, I, I just rock shorts. I don't wear underwear and shorts when I'm just home. So I don't get out, I get out of the shower and put shorts on. I don't get out of the shower and put like underwear on or, and then shorts unless I'm going out of the house. Like, you know, let's, say, let's say I shower. No, if, I'm, if I'm home, I'm, I'm in shorts. Really? Like, Nothing on just ramble? Yeah, that's what yeah, I do. But if I, I go too. out of my house, then I wear put underwear on. That's true. I'm yeah, I can't do that. If I just went, if I went, my doctor's Rob, and I, it drives me nuts. Mm, I don't yeah. like that. My legs are huge and I'm fine. Yeah, me too. Well, I, I wasn't. I wasn't saying my legs are bigger. I'm just saying what the fuck because it drives there. me. It drives me nuts. Yeah, no, I don't have I don't a fucking crotch trot. Okay, wait a second. So if I shower, I put on a pair of trunks or you sorry, trunks. Honest. Trunks. Put, put on a pair on. Put on a pair of fucking underwear, right? Trunks. My Lululemons. I put them on. <laughs> Bikini. And then I go. And then I go grab a coffee and come back. And then let's say I end up banging or something, so I take my underwear off. I'm gonna no, put those. I'm gonna put those back on. No, oh, no, no. They're they're dirty. Dirty. I'm gonna shower and I'm gonna put them back on. They're not dirty. I wore for half an hour for. Yeah, yeah, but you, you know, yeah, but it's not like you do take them off and then jump into bed or you get in a little funky, funky first and then a little. You know, you no, don't. No, I take them off and I get into bed. Why the fuck would I throw them in the laundry? They're not dirty. Yeah, but are you like, uh, like, and then, so you're like planning to have sex or it just happens? No, it just happens. I take off my fucking underwear and it happens. Yeah, you know, sometimes uh, things happen with the underwear on first. What am I fucking leaking? My dick's leaking. What the fuck is wrong with you? I would don't steal my word. Come back, you, <laughs> your word is my word. <laughs> it's like you own, you, you, you own it. You own it now. Leaky sister Nino. Can I can I say something first? <laughs> leaky, foot, leaky foot. Leaky foot. Leaky sister Nino. No. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's gonna call you leaky sister, you know, or not. <laughs> okay, wait a minute. So, so I gotta call bull- I gotta call bullshit on this for a second. Paul's lying about, about, his, about his cleanliness. Because, I am not sure. No, you're lying because when we started training together, and you may have changed since then. Oh my Paul, used, Paul used to wear the same pants like number of days in a row. Wait, to the gym? Wait, to the gym? Wait, to the gym? But guys, this is back when I used to wear like a mesh Man, pants. to the gym. You know? To the fucking gym, dude. This guy but changes not- towel every day, but wears pants twice. Bro. <laughs> that's like, Fred, you're, wait, Fred, that's you're like brushing your teeth before bed and then eating fucking dog shit and going to no, sleep. Listen, guy, I would have, it would, if, if one of those days was legs, then they didn't get reused. And this Bro, is back when- I- Hang on. Dude. This was back when, remember, like the, the mesh workout pants were in? They're going to start That's calling bad. you Mr. Ringworm. <laughs> I don't Can do I... it anymore. I realize it was wrong. I don't yeah. do it why, do you, why do you realize it was wrong, though? Tell well, them. You, you told me, Fred. Right. Right. <laughs> what? Because it's dirty? <laughs> one, day, one day, I'm like, Paul, your pants stink. He, I'm like, are those the same pants you wore yesterday? He goes, yeah. I'm like, don't wear your fucking pants two days in a row, man. <laughs> I didn't know these stuff. He's like, wait, I didn't. Oh, wait, I didn't wait. So, hold on. This is so, okay. You're a serial killer. And I'm going to break down. <laughs> This is the this is simple math. <laughs> you will save pants. <laughs> Just you st- not wash them every day. Yep. Yet you will fucking throw a towel in the wash after one same use. day. <laughs> but you will use pants that you go to the gym in, exercise <laughs> in, sit on fucking nasty equipment, yeah. fart in, get swamp what ass is- in. And you put those work. summer bitches back on and you're justifying no, no. one towel? No. You're crazy. Do you hear what you are nuts. Used to, guy. Used to. Do you, do you hear what he just said? What? Used what? to? I didn't fart at him. <laughs> <laughs> and if I did, I had underwear on. There's a layer of protection there. Uh, and if you but did, I'm sure it smelled like fucking rose petals, too. <laughs> oh my God. I'm fucking dying today. This is fucking... <laughs> hey, 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 Fred. You're... Fred. <laughs> Wait, wait, wait. What? You just, you just threw Paul under the bus. Oh, so no, he... Yeah, yeah, no, 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 yeah. That just happened. Like, for right. no reason. By no, the way, you know, what he used to do, you know what he used to do? Yeah, fuck you, have that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, there's a reason. Because he used to make me feel like I was dirty for using my car. Well, you're a dirty car. Paul's by far the scummiest guy on this podcast. <laughs> He's I used to do that. Know. That was years ago. I'm definitely unfollowing you. <laughs> you wear your pants twice. Oh my god! <laughs> I, I promise that oh has only pants. No, I'm fucking. I'm, 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 I'm fucking sweating now too. Fred's <laughs> 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 on fifteen days. That's way worse. 
Fraud, you're like, if I'm going down, this son of a bitch is going to Yeah, yeah he's, pulled me, he's pulled me down with him, for sure. He's like, man, he's such a fucking piece of shit, isn't he? Yeah. He's not alone. He's yeah. got to bring oh, yeah. down the whole tribe. Uh, oh, I don't yeah. even feel I don't even uh, feel like I went down, man. I have five fucking days using a towel. It's not crazy. Uh, oh, my fucking head hurts. <laughs> God. I need a breather. Okay. Big Holy up. shit. The back of my head hurts from laughing too much. <laughs> I'm stealing my lines. Oh, yeah, right. I just said it twice now. I'm going to take uh, hey, it Le- podcast. Hey, here. leaky sister Nino, take it. <laughs> <laughs> no, hey, I'm going to fucking change him in my phone book to leaky right now. Fuck this. <laughs> leaky. Set. Leaky's in. No, guy's uh, right. Guy's right. I don't call you leaky anymore. That's right. Look how look, I, you think I care, bro. God, oh I wouldn't God. be mad about you calling me. You can call me Leaky. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> what is wrong with you today? I don't know, man. I don't know. All right. <sighs> what weight do you want to stay at after retirement? Uh, we just talked about this. What? I think he's. I think it, it's directed at me. I'd like to be like two twenty, two thirty. I think two thirty would be comfortable. That's what I'm at. But you want to pick me? Without the stomach. <laughs> I'm working, on that. working on that right now. <laughs> Take more fiber. You'll be good. Yeah. <laughs> more fiber, more sun. Yeah. yeah, the sun. I don't know. I got to find a way to get rid of this. Um, how to properly take clenbuterol. There's a million different ways. I don't want to get yeah. into that. How many ways um, that? What are the best tips for getting cap delts? Lateral raises, bigger, lateral, yeah. bigger, bigger shoulders overall. Mm-hmm. More, more military press. Overhead press, for, yeah. Get you. I haven't seen anyone really fucking big and strong overhead press that didn't have big shoulders. Yeah. Nick Rock, Nick you know overhead I mean. presses a lot. His shoulders are huge. Yeah, I think pe- it's funny because people will be like, well, if you want cap delts, you need to do this specific exercise. But I'm like, if you just made your shoulders fucking huge with like the best mass movement, oh, which absolutely. is some type of military press, then you'd have caps. Yeah. Yeah. I like Smith machine pressing for shoulders. <laughs> Love it. I can't, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. you know, one thing I've never been able to do, and Paul knows this, uh, free weight military press. Mm, yeah. I can I never, I can never, get comf- I can never get comfortable doing it. I always feel like I'm arching too much and I'm just getting yeah. my chest. Remember the way Branch did him in that one video where he's almost doing like an incline press? Yeah. Oh, That's the like only way I can do him. Yeah. Yeah. Like 315 on them was fucking going. Oh, yeah. We, we I got trained a- with him shoulders once in that exact rack. <laughs> but do you guys ben or or guy do you guys have the same because i know paul or ball does because he's kind of like me this way but do you guys have any issue free weight military pressing or do you feel comfortable doing them i do now because of my surgeries but i used to do a, i used to free weight military press a lot behind the neck as as um i actually do behind the neck now but i'll do it with yeah. a, a smith machine but yeah. i never did heavy behind the neck i used to go up to like yeah. i would only do behind the neck smith unless i was doing like those rainbows like that i call yeah this yeah, yeah, yeah. um but i always did behind the neck with smith but freeway i would when i was like in my late 20s like early 30s i would always consistently do 315 really so i've yeah, never that's, yeah i've done 315 numerous like regularly too but only in but i don't do this i don't like i don't like to see the i don't like to see the military with a barbell i think if you're going to do it it's dumbbells yeah i can do it yeah i was always i always had trouble with dumbbells too because i have trouble kicking them up yeah, I, right. no, if, if, I, I can't do them because I've got no one's hand into me. If I'm handed them, yeah, ha- like if you can have someone hand both dumbbells to you and you can get heavy enough on a dumbbell seated military, that's golden. Yeah. I've never been able to do that either because me and Paul tried that once where I was like, I'm like, okay, pass me one. So he passed me one and then get the other one. But then I felt like weird. It was like I was off center. And I you know what I do? What? I, I have whatever my worst shoulder is. Yeah. Like which is normally my right because it's yeah. my like one that I use. I like if I'm doing heavy dumbbells, uh, shoulders, even for chest, I'll take the one and throw the, the one up myself. Yeah. And then I'll have somebody hand me one. Yeah. So I'm set in my position. Yeah. And then somebody hands me the other one. Then I'm ready to rock and roll. Oh, that's, that's, that's what, what I always I, have them. That's what we do. To me, yeah. people fuck up a lot because they'll hand it to me like this. Yeah. And I like the dumbbells handed to me this way. And then so you turn. I can rotate yeah. it myself and get locked in. I feel like if you get it handed like this, yeah. You're stuck in that position and you, you can't fix your hands. I got to be honest but, with you. I got to be honest with you. After 20 years, <clears throat> I don't think, especially with a, a torn tricep, because my I'm a lot weaker on this arm now. Yeah. I don't think I could ever, I'm ever going to get it right. Because me and Paul tried it where I did the same thing you just said. I lifted this one 
and he handed me this one. And I just, still, huh? I just oh, couldn't get it, comfortable with it. Yeah, get but I wonder. Go ahead. Get two weight bitches. Go, go ahead, Ben. I was going to say, get two weight bitches. <laughs> so you hand them at the same time. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but I think if we do them more often too, though, they might become, you know. That's, yeah. Yeah. We only tried them like, tried them like once or twice like that. And we haven't done them in like a year at least, if not, if not longer. Did you ever try that? Maybe that dump, uh, what is it called? The, that like dumbbell rack that you can see in places that you can grab the dumbbell. I love those. That'd be great. Yeah. That might help you a lot too, because you can get set and then just lean back into it. When I get, yeah, when I, I get, when I get my own place, I want to invest in those. Atlantis makes those. A set of yeah. Those. yeah I, I ordered a bunch, a uh, pair of them from some shifty website like five months ago and they've not turned up yet no, yeah. well, i don't i don't know who else makes them i know atlantis makes them I, i'm sure there's other companies that make them too but i think hammer makes them too <laughs> so um, okay <coughs> fuck no <clears throat> you okay over there yeah i'm good i'm good uh COVID. i hope i don't have the roman i know i don't you have covid no would y'all ever work out together whole the, all the, the whole cast i think he means the whole cast yeah we would if we if we didn't have so many lockdowns yeah uh can you guys explain how the contest judging goes down paul you want to take a quick rundown at that yeah well um an amateur at least um you know you're prejudging your finals just like pros but um everyone gets placed so if you have like a lineup of let's say let's say there's five guys in that class each judge will place each person accordingly uh wherever they have them and then you know the scores, the uh, the the um the highest score and the lowest score get eliminated, and then the combined total, of the rest of the scores get added up, and lowest score wins, and so on. Um, okay, so so basically, but let's explain it a little further. So there's three rounds, right? And and, and amateur, there's two, and professional, there's three. Okay, well, let's go with professional. So professional is three rounds. There's symmetry round, muscularity round, and confirmation. And confirmation round. What's confirmation round mean? It's basically like your finals, right? So like yeah. that, you're just you're just confirming your 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 results from earlier in the day, um, which so, sometimes can change too. You know, like it did at this year's Olympia with uh, Hadi moving up a couple spots. And, uh, so so pre judging is just symmetry and muscularity. Well, you're judged on all those categories, both at pre judging and finals. It's yeah. just called confirmation because you're basically just. No, 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 I know, but in the morning, pre judging, the symmetry, yeah. the muscularity, those are the yes. things you're judged on. Yes. Yeah, what I would say is total package. Yeah. You know, you're, judged, you're judged on the total package, not just one particular thing, conditioning or size or whatnot. You know? so but when you're looking, what I'm asking is this when you're looking at your score sheet, right? Mm -hmm. What do the columns look like? Does it just say FUAD and then oh, a column? Or does it say FUAD and then is it muscularity? Symmetry? Yeah, it'll have, it'll have the rounds and then you place accordingly. You know, like, so you're just placing people. And it's so like, but it's, so like, it, go ahead. Sorry, I'm just trying to picture what the sheet looks like. Is it like a like an Excel spreadsheet where it says? Well, remember, I've only I've only judged one pro show, right? And I, and I was a test judge at that show. So you know uh, how the how it's conducted at other shows I, it may be different, but at the show that I judged, the pro show at the Niagara Falls, I won. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, we were just here's the round, place your 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 categories accordingly, and then okay. your tabulation at the end, lowest score wins. And then it gives you another another sheet for a second round. Uh, yeah, because you have to hand in your your you have to hand in your your scores. Okay. And those become official scores, and then there's uh, the your uh, statistician that up, right? So yeah, you never see your sheet again after you handed it. Okay, so you can never change it. No. Okay. Guy, do you do you want to add anything to that or no? No, covered it. Good. You think? Ben? Much, yeah. Okay. Wow. Uh, what animal would you be and why? Let's skip that. Um. Uh, we'll cover this. Uh, do you eat much tin tuna? Can it be a good substitute for chicken when added added with rice? I'll be back. I, I gotta to get, I gotta blow my nose. I used to eat a lot. I would say once in a while. When I was poor, I eat a lot. Yeah, but you I gotta be careful. It. it does have a lot of mercury in it too. Yeah, tuna does, right? Yeah. Yeah, so you gotta be careful. That can really fucking screw you up, you know. Yeah, is is it basically the bigger the fish, the higher the mercury content? That's not that's necessarily really true. No. I thought it was because eat the smaller fish and smaller whatever. I don't think that's necessarily. I think it's the type of fish. Okay. To be honest, like what, with you. what they eat, like what that particular fish yeah, eats, like the diet of the fish. Okay. It's like the diet of like the meat we eat is determined in the amount of fat it has. Right. Yeah. You know. So, like, what is what is what a tuna normally eat that make them so full of mercury? Honestly, I don't even know. That's a good question. I don't even know. That's that I don't know. Yeah. Off, off food. What do, what a tuna eat? <laughs> like 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 they say well, that Al albacore say that. no what do tunas eat oh what do tunas eat yeah smaller, i don't know smaller fish 
Yeah, that's what I thought. Why are they so or high? Like you have like like you know, which is might be the reasoning because you have fish have mercury in it to begin with. So you have fish eating other fish, so you have high mercury content. Whereas yeah. like flounder doesn't have a high mercury, but they're just shitty fish because it's a bottom feeder. Right. Yeah, you want to always want to eat smaller fish. The smaller yeah. the, the smaller the fish, the healthier. Apparently, is that true? I wasn't sure if that was true. He said that. I was like, I don't, I, I don't know if that's true. Well, according to what I don't know, I've read. Like yeah. I like swordfish, mahi mahi, flounder, cod. I mean, those aren't huge. The if you eat larger fish that eat other fish, then you have higher mercury content. If you eat the smallest fish that is eating like plankton or other types of like uh, algae, algae shit like that, then they don't you don't get mercury buildup. Yeah. Tuna are fucking enormous, right? Yeah, yeah, they're huge. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So a whale must be like just a ball of mercury. Yeah, <laughs> no, because whales whales don't eat fish. Whales eat uh, oh. algae and plankton, shit like that. They don't oh, eat really? fish. Depends on the whale, right? Okay. Like if you're talking like a killer whale, okay, yes. So a shark, then? No, like I'm sure the killer whales and shit eat other fish. I just don't know, like the biggest. Killer whales whale. Uh, you're actually well, yeah, it is. No. No, it's in, the, it's in the dolphin family. It's a dolphin, yeah. Yeah. Well, tuna is a dolphin? No. <laughs> what are you talking about? Are you stoned right now? <laughs> Did you smoke while he went fucking to blow his nose? Did you eat an edible in there? Did you eat an edible? We were looking. I got yeah. it. Somewhere in there, I got confused. By the way, boy, that's three strikes. No, that was, I was going to say it. Three just strikes. <laughs> you said it seconds after me. I'm I just want everybody to know it's already three I'm times this podcast. Say everything you say from now on. <laughs> I'm just gonna wait like till you say it, and then I'm gonna say it right after. What do you find? Right. Yes. <laughs> uh, do whales eat other exactly. fish? Uh, all of them feed on krill, but sometimes include other sea creatures in their diets, such as cope pod crustaceans and small fish. Humpback, humpback, and brides whales also actively hunt for small schooling fish, such as herring and anchovies. So I guess they, I guess they do eat small fish. You were so dead set. That no, I wasn't. I wasn't actually. I wasn't. I said I think some whales eat fish, but I think some other whales don't. Which is this kind of what this is saying, right? Well, krill. What's krill? So, like a shellfish? It's like a crab or something, isn't it? What is krill? No, I think krill is a green. Is krill, it? krill are small crustaceans of the order like stuck to like the fucking. Do you know the things that are like stuck to like. Uh... Did you ever see like a shell that has like all the thing, like the stuff stuck to it, like green Michaels. stuff and like yeah. all like shelly things? I think that's like what like snails. Things. It's a Those tiny, it's a it's a tiny shrimp like animal. Let's yeah. Just yeah. So it's yeah. A, those hard little things that are like stuck to like the tops of like clams and shit. Okay. <clears throat> all right. Can we move on now? Yep. You're the one Googling. Well, you said I was dead set on whales, not, and I wasn't dead set. I said, I think. Once I say, once I throw the word I think in there, I'm safe. That doesn't get me that's what Paul that's what Paul said. Paul, yeah, yeah. Paul said Paul told me as long as I say I think I'm or, safe. Or to the best of my knowledge. To the best of my knowledge. That is that. like the most lawyer-esque <laughs> bullshit <laughs> to get you out of like being called out. You can be like, well, I didn't say I was 100 percent Um what kind of doctors help with PED and what kind of blood work do bodybuilders do? I don't get any help with PEDs from my doctor. I do. I do. Do you? Mm -hmm. HRT, yeah, I get my stuff. Uh, so all your, your stuff? Hmm? Yeah, I'm sure your doctors don't help you with all your stuff. And Paul, yeah. you lie to your doctor all the time anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I hope I your do. doctor watches this podcast. <laughs> I hope he doesn't because he'll never prescribe me anything again. <laughs> You're going to notice how fucking red your face is. Like, <laughs> We've been doing all the virtual calls the last year. Right? He hasn't seen me in a while. Do you use a filter when you call him so your face looks less red? It's not it's not face to face. It's just a talk. He fucking answers and he's got like one of the fucking like dinosaur heads on him talking to the his doctor. His doctor calls and Paul's like, Yeah, I'm natural. I'm still natural. He's like, Okay. He's like, give, you whatever, give you whatever you want. He always tells me my, level, my levels are high. And I'm telling him, Yeah, okay, I'll bring them down. But I usually don't. The second part of this question is, do you think you have to reach your natural limit before taking PEDs or how do you know it's time? That's a different individual. Yeah. Yeah. This, it it all depends. I mean, everybody has different reasons, right? Like I started when I started competing. Cause I'm like, I'm not going to, I'm going to fucking lose if I don't do what everybody else is doing. Yeah. It depends on your goals. So if you're just doing it to look good at the bar, I mean, you're kind of fucking with your health, but it's everybody's personal choice. Yeah. Yeah. I, there, there are certain compounds out there outside of testosterone 
if you're not competing, do you have very little business using? Oh, this is a good, this is a good one. I want to actually talk about that kind of bothered me and I didn't want to get too far into it with people. Cause I don't like to prescribe things through DMS cause it's a liability issue to be fucking honest. Yeah. But this girl messaged me and she said, my boyfriend sweats really, really fucking bad. He sweats so bad that I have to change the sheets every day and wash them. Blah, blah, blah. What should I do? And the first thing I said to her was, is he taking trend or DNP? And she goes, <laughs> No, no, it turned out to be, she goes, it, it, he is taking trend. And she mentioned two other compounds. I think it was like test and EQ or something like that. And I said, look, just tell him to drop the trend. And I'm not going to tell you what to take in its place. All I can tell you is trend is notorious for causing night sweats. I'm like, just tell him to drop the trend and he'll be fine. And you can just go on kick- like that. Some people like, I think Ian said he sweats like that at night from trend. I think it was Ian. I don't want to mm-hmm. say it if I'm wrong, but somebody. Yeah, but I, would, I, I would think something that made me do that every well, night. If, if. If you thought it was making you look better, you might keep doing it. No. Not you, guy, because you have good genetics and you probably take something no, else. No, I'm just saying I wouldn't, I wouldn't, that would drive me. <laughs> I, not, that would scare me. But if I was waking up covered in sweat every night, I, I would be concerned. I would be, I'd be like, fuck this. I don't know if it's a, is it something to be concerned about or is this your body kind of going in overdrive? It doesn't matter. The fact that you sweat like that, I think you're, that's not something your body should be doing, period. Yeah. So well, anyway, the, that, that, that's an adverse reaction. This is something you're putting in your body that should not be in there. But this is the point I was getting to is when I said to her, look, he can just drop it and use something else. She first, she asked me what, and I was like, I don't want to go down that road with you. But if he does a little bit of research, there's a lot of other compounds he can get into. Um, she's like, well, he, he likes the way he's looking. So he's probably not going to stop. I'll just have to deal with it. And I'm just, the reason I'm bringing this whole thing up is for people watching there isn't any drug that you have to take. I mean, other than maybe test like as being a base, but like there's no other performance enhancing drug that you have to take that you couldn't do well with by replacing with something else. Well, yeah. And if you're not yeah. competing to Ben, what Ben said, 90 fucking 8% of the shit that bodybuilders take, you don't need to take it. If you're not competing. Yeah. You're yeah. Right. Well, yeah. Oh, hey, hey, let, me, let me contextualize it for a bunch of bros out there. And to back Fuad's point up, and I'll use Luke as an example. Luke placed third at the Arnold and didn't use Tren at all whatsoever. He didn't use orals or that much either outside of 30 milligrams of Anavar for that show. Yeah. So it's not like he was replacing it with a bunch of other stuff. So, because everyone seems to think that Tren, like, oh, I'm doing a prep, so Tren, like that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they did yeah. jump on that. Oh, I'm and then like the real bros in the gym, they're like, Oh, I'm I'm cutting for my holiday to fucking wherever. I've got to put training because that'll harden me up. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> you really do not have to use those compounds to achieve the look. The, the amount they help, we're talking it's you know compared to you just working hard. Yes, okay, there are other compounds out there that you can take that are much less harsh, but Fuck me We're, again for like the beach or the bar. If there, no one's gonna notice the fucking difference between you running a boatload of trend or another much less harsh compound that's not gonna yeah. fucking destroy you. Yeah, I just think trend trend tren has this like. Sorry, I'm just no, it's okay. No, it does. No, You're right. Okay. No, the only thing, the only thing I'll say about the Luke situation is I know the first thing the guys out there are thinking is, well, he's got world class genetics, so that doesn't count for me. So I won't even go there. I'll just go to the point of saying that just switch it for a different drug. I would never, I would never advocate like, Oh, don't take any drugs. Cause I'm just not going to say that, but you're People are going to do whatever they want to do. But all I'm trying to say is if something is making you feel fucked up, it's like when people say to me, I want to take Anadrol to get strong, but it fucked up my appetite and I can only eat one meal a day. You don't have to take it then. It's not, exactly. it's going to make you worse. Take something else that will make you strong and make sure you get your meals in. Something so, Phil he said to me in 2013, we were talking, I was texting him about something right before a show. And he said something to me that I'll never forget. <laughs> and he said, if something you take has the potential to make you 2% better or 10% worse, it's not worth taking. 2% better or what? 10% worse? If, if you take something that has the potential to make you 2% better yeah. or 10% worse, it's not worth doing. Yeah. 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 I agree with that. I was like, that's probably some of the best advice I've heard. And as far as, uh, actually, you know what? It's interesting. As far as the first part of this uh, question with doctors, 
Do you know the only fucking drug? Because my doctor is familiar with all the PEDs and everything. The only fucking drug he's ever told me not to take was Trent. Really? Yeah. He's like, look, man, I know you're going to do stuff. He's like, some of these drugs over here are harsher for you because they go through your, you know, he's talking about orals and stuff. Yeah. You go through your liver or whatever. It's going to affect your kidneys. But he's like, as far as injectables, he's like, just stay away from Trent. He's like, really? there are some other things that probably aren't great, but Trent is the one that like is probably going to be the worst for you. A lot of uh, kidney issues, eh, with guys with Trent? It's just toxic. It's I just think it's toxic. I just think they run high fucking doses of it too to top off. No, but even at low doses, I mean, Ben, you can speak to this, can't you? Can you can you add anything to the trend, like how it affects your bloods? I guess. I mean, all ninety nores are very harsh, right? Okay. Anyway, so I, I mean, I don't like even Decca. I just think it's what's a what's a extremely for, toxic. But 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 in terms no, of trend, it's, it's explain it's what a ninety nor is, bro. Explain, to them, explain to them. Explain to them what nineteen nor is, because they're not going to know what that is. Well, you have everything's derived from testosterone, it, right? And then you have DHT compounds, and then you have 19 nores. It's the chemical st- structure, right? So it's yeah. <sighs> what, are, fucking... what are some example? What is what are some examples of 19 nores? Say that. <coughs> Deca. Well, trend Deca. I mean, MPP is Deca, so yeah, they're your the, the two families are, are kind of kind of be other the most familiar ones are going to be trembolone and deca right but i've always been told that deca is a safer drug to take as long as it's not taking in mass amounts yeah like i would never equate trend and deca in the same like, nor would i same fa- i mean they are the same family same family. Why I, I, again that's why I, I would never i've seen really in my eyes stupid cycles where People are running Deca and Trent and Trent together. Like, well, yeah, you're you're com- they're competing for the same receptor site. So what the yeah. fuck are you trying to? But is there that? but is there something else in Trend that makes it more toxic than Deca? Because I would never, I've never heard that those two are equally as bad for you. No, I would say Trend is harsher for sure. I'm just putting yeah. them in the same family. Yeah, and and how they they'll compete in the same receptors. It's you'll see a lot of liver toxicity with Trend. Yeah, yeah. I, there's no, I mean, just to put in anecdotal sense, it's just there is a greater risk, um, the load on the body, yeah, at any dose, at any dosage or any comparable dosage with other compounds like DHT. DHT derived compounds are, are much less toxic and much less harsh. What are some? What are some DHT derived drugs? Primo, Masteron. Yeah, yeah, those are definitely safer. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. We'll have to maybe I'll bring on a pharmacologist one day onto RBP mm. and I'll fucking delve into Yeah, you have actually, actually this, you know what? This actually reminds me, and I'm not totally not trying to sell this, but I am. Um <laughs> get all my fucking computer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I gotta Bro- see my computer. Broderick, Broderick, <laughs> Broderick Chavez, who <laughs> most people consider a genius in the steroid uh discussion, I guess, or whatever, is doing a seminar series with me. So if anybody's interested, that'll be up soon. You guys can, it's going to be two days. Yeah, it it'll be, it'll be two days where we're going to cover all the different cycles and how to use them and what to do and all that shit. Mm, so, very cool. Yeah, there, there, there are far more qualified people to speak on pharmacology than we. Yeah. Yeah. Bro- Broderick seems to be the guy that everybody has put up as the man. So speaking uh, of getting people on, you know who I asked today to come on, who responded to me, Who? the guy I was telling you about, I yeah. asked him too. That's I and he was oh, now, well, you're I, ca- now you're copying me. <laughs> what time did you send it at? I want to know. Even, what time did you send it at? I hope I fucking oh wait, hold on. <laughs> uh, what is what we're gonna do? <laughs> on the count of three, wait, hold on. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. On the count of three, we're gonna scream out uh, the times. Hold on. Wait. Let me find them. Hold I want to know who you fucking mean. Hold on, hold on. Roman Reigns. Yep, hold on. Who I I actually wants me to call him Joe from now on. So <laughs> Joe Joe uh, I messaged Joe. Does he follow the ready, show? Ready, ready, yes. ready. Yeah. Wait, well, the first time you messaged him, my the first time I messaged him, Sunday at seven thirty nine p.m. All right, you got me. But why are you? I because I told you the okay. So this is what happened. I was on a live stream, and I obviously know who he is well but I, I didn't know who he was i don't watch long wrestling. story short i i know him by his real name not because i don't follow wrestling because flex knows him yeah so flex has made mention of him by his real name yeah yeah so i'm on the podcast i'm on my live stream 
And I'm there's these kids that come on my live stream and they're going ballistic that I don't follow Roman Reigns. And I'm thinking like, who like, is this a body? But like, well, who, who the fuck are these people talking about? Yeah, Cause yeah. I used to watch wrestling back in the day. Yeah. And obviously I know who fucking the rock's cousin is. So I'm like, who I'm thinking Roman for like my head all automatically went like Roman Fritz and I'm like rattling all bodybuilders by the name of Roman. So I'm like, I got to end this live feed and figure this out. So I go, I end the live feed. And I go to his page and sure enough, he follows me and I wasn't following him. And these kids were calling me disrespectful because <laughs> I didn't follow him. They were like kids. And yeah. I'm like, so I messaged him and I'm like, Hey man. So, we, and then he was like, I'm a huge, I'm a, I've been a fan. He's like, I watch you guys on the podcast, yada, yada, yada. So then I shot him a message back and I was like, Hey man. And he responded and I was like, Hey, let's get you on the fucking podcast and chat. Mm -hmm. It'd be cool as hell. Yeah. That explains oh. it. He so he, he started following me and I, I thought it was weird. I don't follow wrestling. He followed me and then I get all of these fan pages light me up. Oh my God, lit up, <laughs> lit up. I was <laughs> like, what the <laughs> fuck is going on? Okay, now I explain it. But you know what? He's a cool fucking dude because the fact that he even like reached out and responded, like a lot of people like just blow that shit off. Yeah. yeah. You know? yeah and that's sure. cool because like I try to get back to everybody and the fact that he just responded was, I was like, damn, this guy's a real motherfucker. Yeah, yeah no, I am. Um... I messaged him oh, yesterday. Shout out to you, bro. Yeah, I messaged him yesterday. He got back to me and uh, I asked him to come on RBP so I could like talk to him. Like I, I want to get into some backstory. Yeah. And then I said, you can all, you know, we'll also do a bro chat together because it'll be funny. Like have everybody on together. Yeah. And um, he said he's going to think about it. He said there's a couple things that he I has, to, he has yeah. to iron out first. And probably a couple things we can't speak about as well. Yeah. yeah. So, um, and then he said, uh, just call me Joe from now on. And I was like, yep, that's my boy. <laughs> did, he say, did he say, he didn't, he didn't say, I'm lying. I'm lying. He's going to listen to this. He's going to listen to this. He's going to know I'm lying. Did he say, I, did he say, P.S. <laughs> guy's my favorite? No, I didn't, I didn't. He said, P.S. I hate guy. I'll take his place. <laughs> <laughs> he can Turtle. take my place. He's no. way fucking prettier than me. <laughs> no, I, no, I actually asked him. I said, I said, P.S. Should I call you? Cause I didn't, cause it says at his top, Joe, uh, I don't know. I, I don't, I don't know how to pronounce I think his last it's name. Annoyer. Or yeah, so it says Joe and then AKA Roman Reigns. So I said, Should I call you Joe or Roman from now on? He goes, hey, hold, please, hold on. He said, Please call me Joe from now on. <laughs> <laughs> hold on, hold on. Alexa, who's Roman Reigns? I get to use Alexa. She'll say his name. Alexa, volume seven. Bitch. Wikipedia, Joseph Anawai is an American. Anawai. 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 Unless she said it wrong. You think so? He is uh, could be. WWE. He's already shut the fuck up. Yeah, Alexa, good. shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> it's like oh, Alexa, yeah. Alexa, Alexa, guy, sister, Nino version. <laughs> what the oh, fuck yeah, do you yeah. want, guy? <laughs> Alexa, who? Alexa, who is Fuad Abiyad? Oh, let's hear this. <laughs> Alexa, She's who like, is Fuad Abiyad? Know. She's like who? That's the last time you tell me to fuck off. Wait. Idiot is a Canadian International Federation of Body. Look at that. Oh wow. Alexa knows your food. Idiot of Lebanese heritage began training at the age of 21. He credits his father as his biggest influence. Yeah, she knows everything about partner Paul. Fuck. Training partner Paul. Ask her who Paul is on. Is let's see what she says. How do you say, say, wait, pronounce his last name correctly? Paul, Paul Lozon. Alexa. Paul is a stoner. Who is <laughs> Paul Lozon? According to Wikipedia, Leo Paul Lozon is an author, researcher. No, that's a different one. Uh, yeah, I, I've, I've read some stuff. <laughs> <laughs> you wrote an article for Flex once, I think. Alexa, oh, oh, it was for uh, it was Alexa, oh. website that folded. <laughs> uh all right we'll do one more actually there's one i wanted to actually specifically do guy do you, guy do you take progress photos yeah and i do, uh, i'm weird though i take them send them to chris and delete everyone off my phone until i start looking good and i'll save like one or two okay let me ask you this and i'm only asking a guy because he doesn't post progress photos often when you take your progress photos, do they ever look different than you feel in real life? Always. Is it so? It's not just me. Every time I take progress photos, we even when I'm like four weeks out, I'll be, I look like shit, and Chris will be like crazy, and I'm like, "What the fuck are you looking at?" No, no, no. But 
does somebody see you in real life that also sees the photos? Yes. Do they think the photos look like what you really look like? They always, no. Yeah. See, cause me and Paul, yeah. like we'll, we'll train. Everybody right? will take a picture and they'll literally come up to me and they'll be like, this doesn't even look like what I'm looking at. Just yeah. Like, yeah. like that's, that's what, happened a million times. Me and Paul will fucking train. And then I'll, you know, I want to look like, see what I look like. Like, you know, when I'm looking all right or a week later or whatever, he'll take fucking photos yeah, and I'll look off. at them and I'm like, this looks like dog shit. Do it all the time. And then yeah. Paul will be like, this isn't what you look like, man. And yeah, I'm like, or you how can, can it not? Too, right? And you can see it in the mirror too, right? When you're when Yeah, you're when taking... I'm posing, like I, like today we trained legs, right? We took some fucking photos. I look in the mirror, I'm like, fuck, my legs look good today. Like they were really full. Yeah. So we took some shots and uh I look at the photos, I'm like, they're okay, but it's not like what I saw in the mirror. Like a couple of the shots came out pretty good though. Yeah, but it's isn't not that a, isn't that a story of every bodybuilder ever though? Yeah. I don't remember it being this bad. I used to take photos and be like, ah, this is okay. Now I look at them and I'm like, this doesn't look like what the fuck I was looking at a second ago. And even Paul will be like, this isn't what your fucking legs look like. Well, yeah, when, when you were prepping last time, for whoever that's why, that's why you want to, you want to know something. And Ben, like, like when you, I think you guys, when you guys were trying to make me laugh, I was Ben on here or no, it was Ian. Ian was like making fun of the fact that like, I don't hit like, you know, some of the, my uh, pictures, my progress pictures are just me standing there. Yeah. Cause just me standing there, you can see things without me posing because I hit the pose and I'm so fucking critical of myself. I'd rather just get a shot of me just chilling because then I don't have anything to rip myself apart about. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's weird, man. I don't know what the fuck. Uh, okay, we'll read this. A guy or a girl falls onto a piece of rebar. That in, that rebar is like a... a rebar metal, is, metal. A, is a long metal pole. Like I use them in my garden. They're like oh okay. So imagine like, somebody like, imagine somebody like, fell onto it and it went through oh. like it went through them. Yeah, they're like metal. metal so pole. they fall onto a piece of rebar and it impales him or her, but it's not immediately fatal. They eventually bleed out. What does the ambulance once it arrives do if they haven't bled out? Do they sedate him, novocaine the area, cut the rebar, and say it's a fatal spot and there's only minutes to save him or her? then what the hell do they do with the limited time? So what do they do if they get, show up and that's what they see? They cut the bar. I, well, so he's stuck on what? it. Yeah, he's stuck off. on it. You can't, if you pull him off, he's done. The, is yeah. this a trick question? Uh, it doesn't, I don't know. There's no, there's no, look at me. <laughs> <laughs> he's such a liar. This is a fucking fall. Guy, there's, yeah, no, the there's no answer. Right there's no answer. There's no answer. Is this like, is this like the, the, the sideways dildo thing? No, this is not a like, what would you do? This is a, this is just a scenario. Real life scenario. This person's giving me a scenario and there's no answer. So I just thought I'd bring it up on the podcast to see what you guys think. I would say cut the fucking, cut the rebar and fucking throw an IV on him and rush his ass to the fucking hospital. Yeah, I'd say the same. Just like you guys ever take like a first aid course? They, if someone gets like an- What are you going to leave them there like an ornament? <laughs> no, I think, I don't know what the other, the other options are like, do they sedate him? I'm like, okay, but then what? Do they leave him there? He's probably, he's probably telling you to sedate him and pull him off. You can't. Yeah. You no. Can't, you can't. Tear everything out. Failed like that. You can't take that out. Right. So cut the rebar and throw him in the back of the ambulance. Yeah. yeah. I mean, what else? Leave the yeah. bar in. Okay. Yeah. I'll go, leave I'll the go. bar in so he's in hospital. Fuck that. Yeah. Okay. I'm not going to disagree with that. That's fine. How many times have you seen people in hospitals with like shit sticking out of them because they haven't, like, they, they, the ambulance brought them in like that? They teach you to do that in first aid classes. Yeah. Okay, wrap break, it. Break, break it off. Yeah. Break it. Uh, do you think that someone could make a career out of bodybuilding when not using PEDs? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's that one. <laughs> Don't ask dumb questions. Why would All you right. want to? Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, this is it. We'll, we'll end on this one. What's something you guys have realized about each other through the podcast that you didn't know or wouldn't have known beforehand? Wow. Uh, the poor poor's a dirty motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> you know that, that. <laughs> Paul wears his I pants know, too. I it, yeah, I know it now. I know it now. I used to be a dirty motherfucker. Uh, never give Paul a hug. <laughs> <laughs> I used I used to be dirty. I'm clean now. <laughs> um hmm. I know this one's gonna be about me, so just I'm waiting. <laughs> I don't have anything yet, I'm thinking. Well, I haven't learned anything about Paul because I, I didn't know Fuad yeah. was so materialistic, and he admits it. I like it. 
I like shit. I like buying I didn't shit. Know that. Yeah, he does. He's a shopaholic. It's funny though. I don't know why people make that such a negative thing. Why is I it bad? Well, time out. I didn't. For... No, I know you didn't, but people online do. Not all. Most people just like joke that around. Fucking with turn I just did. Most people joke around with me about it, but in general, in public, like if you talk about it in societal terms, being materialistic is a negative thing, and I'm like, why? I don't know. I think when people say you're materialistic, it's because I think they're referring to the fact that you probably shouldn't buy the things you have because you don't have enough money. Yeah, but that's not me. I for... no, but I'm saying you just said I was materialistic. I'm just saying that's not that's not that doesn't make sense. I I'm for it's defensive. <laughs> I do that. <laughs> I, wait, wait, defensive or sensitive? He's a lot of the ibs. He's a lot of the IVEs. <laughs> I'm very very sensitive. Yes. I that is probably out of Paul's stench, James, <laughs> James back hair, and temper. Ben, I, Ben's just a good guy, so I'm not saying that. Bad. <laughs> Your sensitivity blows my mind. Yeah, I've always been like that, though. Yeah. I've never known that until recent, as you know. I don't even hide it. You don't. I'm horrible yeah. at hiding. It. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> If I'm fucking, if I'm fucking, <laughs> no, like if I'm upset, whoever's in the fucking vicinity of me knows it. Yeah, yeah. Even if I'm trying to hide it, there's like no fucking way to hide. It. Like I just, or if no. I'm like, if I'm sad, depressed, whatever the fuck emotion, everybody around me knows. There's no I way can I can hide it fucking like a goddamn chameleon. Me too. Yeah, I'm, I I'm learned that around. guy's a slut. I learned that. <laughs> okay. Oh wow. I learned guy fucks a lot. <laughs> I'm so fucked. <laughs> <laughs> I hope some of the people watching this know you do it just to fucking make my life. A I'm fucking... gonna I'm gonna timestamp this part. <laughs> Guy fucks a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Can I ask based off of what fucking? It's just a feeling I have. So so wait, are you saying you think or you know? No, I know. Wait, how do you know? Because when somebody tells you enough stories and you piece them all together, you kind of get a okay, picture. okay. But on uh, okay, on your hands, how yeah. many girls that do you know of that I've slept with? It doesn't have to mean that. If you tell, if you, but you say I fuck a lot, like I, I I run around like a fucking skank bag. When you talk to somebody for two to four hours a week, you get a kind of idea of who. I they only are. talk to you because I'm forced. <laughs> You're not forced. <laughs> You have a contract. You have to be on the podcast. <laughs> I really don't. I, I I really don't, though. Maybe not now you don't. Ever since I shaved and fucking all this stuff happened in this podcast. What else have I learned? Ben is extremely literal. I'm like, yeah. Like, what you read and what you say, it is what it is. Yeah, like, I'll say things that I feel like are kind of understood, but if you say it like, you have to say it a certain way with Ben, or he'll he'll catch he'll catch you on it. Be like, no, that doesn't mean that. Like the like the intensity debate we had. Remember? I'm like, I train intense. He's like, no, you don't. I'm like, <laughs> like what are you? I'm like, I'm like, what are you fucking? Talking? You came out like that and said that. Yeah, I'm like, what are you talking about? <laughs> and then he's like, he has to describe what intensity means, and in the actual definition, he's not wrong. But nobody would fucking say that ever except Ben. <laughs> I live in the world of black and white. I don't think like, Guy knows what yeah, Ben's yeah. talking about. Ben, uh, according to Ben, Guy, you don't train intensely. Either. Oh, God. Fuck you, <laughs> Ben. <laughs> you, you throw Paul under the bus first, and now you're throwing me under the fucking bus. Yeah. We went through this. We did this dance. Don't do this to me again. <laughs> all right, all right. We'll do it. Okay. So I, I was right. You were right. You were right. So Ben, so ben is very literal. Guy fucks a lot. I don't. <laughs> but, uh, Paul, Paul's a stoner. Start. Paul's a stoner. Dude, you know, I, I was friends with Paul, with Paul for five fucking years. He hit it. Listen, before yeah, I ever knew know. he was a stoner. He didn't know. One day oh, he was. A, one day so, he, so a drug addict. <laughs> one day he just said to me, he's like, yeah, I'm high right now. I'm like, what? <laughs> he's, like, he's like, yeah, I smoke every day. I'm like, I had no fucking idea this whole time. We were friends for five years. Yeah. You can smell it on him. So you don't know the real Paul. 
The motherfucker oh. doesn't wash his clothes in like a week. <laughs> just like pants, man. You That's can't smell. You can't smell the weedy smokes. The smell doesn't get on my pants, man. <laughs> <laughs> the stench of his shitty smelling oh, pants trumps the smell of weed. That's how bad he smells. <laughs> Fucking fool, I'd smell your pants over the weed, Paul. Right. <laughs> You're gross. That was a long right. time ago. Uh, what well, I've, I've learned to couple other things can you nick, say one thing that's not bad yes <laughs> nick and guy are more sensitive than they let on and definitely more loyal than they appear to be on the outside wait i i seem disloyal no but you are extremely loyal to like a, a crazy degree that i would never expect it guys um, old school though i don't know if that's good or bad it's good why would it be bad because you said to you when you say to like a level that you didn't expect, I don't know what that means. It means that most people nowadays and oh, like I'll go to war. If, if you're in my circle, I'll go to war without yeah. Even, mo- listen to my experience. <laughs> most people in my life that I have met are not like that. Yeah, they're not like I. I'm like you, guy. Like if yeah. someone fucks with my friends, that's it. That person's cut off from my life. Good. Like go yeah. fuck yourself. I'm out. Right. Yeah. There's not a lot of people like that. Yeah. There's not. There's most people want to walk the line or like, yeah, there's just, it's just, anyway, it's something I learned about you and Nick. Nick is way softer than I thought he was. That's the other thing I learned too. Yeah. Not in a negative way, not soft. No, like no, 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 not no, no, no. Soft like he cares. Like, he's got it's... a like, a, Nick's like an elephant. <clears throat> is, that, is, that, is that bad? <laughs> I didn't mean that to be bad. Elephants are very sensitive creatures. No, but he's, uh, I think he cares about his friends yeah. more than I would have expected. I think that's what we all have in common, though. Yeah. Um, Ian? Like, I, this is what I consider a friend. I consider a friend if I needed somebody. Like, if I needed, if I called one of my friends in tears and I was like, I need you here with A, B, and C in the next 24 hours. And if you're not here, to me, you're not part of my circle. Because if any one of my friends in my circle called me, yeah. I would have a babysitter here. I would have for my dogs. I'd have a backpack. I'd be out the door. Yeah, 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 yeah. I hear that. And that to yeah. me is what loyalty is. And if you can't look and if you can't say to yourself, "I would do that for that person," then that you don't care that much about that person. Mm-hmm. And that's how I judge loyalty. There are people that I there are people that I could literally call and say, "I need you to grab three guns, twenty grand, and be at my house in fucking three hours," and they'll I know they would show up. Yeah. Paul, what have and you learned? It's just, and I'm not ju- saying that like they have to have money or whatever. I, I'm just saying there has yeah, to yeah, be yeah. a situation that if I need somebody there, they're going to show will up. Be there without fucking any question. And if you if you're in my circle, you're one of those people. Paul, what have you learned uh, about Ben or a guy? Okay, guy is promiscuous. I didn't know that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> So I'm Leaky's sister Nino. Thanks, Ben. It's all tied together because of Ben. It started with the nickname. Uh, ben, um, I didn't know how knowledgeable Ben was. I uh, yeah, I that was a surprise to me also. Yeah. Ben. Oh, thanks. Well, I look no, like a dumb no, 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 no offense, oh, Ben. That's, 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 I thought you're dumb. <laughs> I know. I, well. just, I knew Ben was very smart because I knew Ben from going to Britain for a long time. And he always knew what he was talking about when he spoke. Listen, I didn't know because all I know is Luke used to tell me about Ben. I got this guy, this friend, Ben, he's so smart. We should have him on the show. He's a coach. He knows everything. And I'm like, who the fuck is this guy? And then I heard him talking. I'm like, holy fuck. He's smart. Knows a lot of shit. So yeah. yeah. So that, that's how I meant it. I mean, in a negative way, Ben, I meant it like. I'll never forget the way for the first time I saw, I've never seen, him and Luke train. And I was like, this guy fucking can lift a lot. Like he was lifting the same way as Luke. And I was is, like, is that shocking? <laughs> is that I was like, this motherfucker is strong as shit yeah, yeah. for no reason. What were you like, no reason. He has no, no business lifting that way. No, you know, he just, he's just that strong for no reason. I'm like, man, this motherfucker is strong. Yeah. In that post you had today, Ben, where were you squatting six plates? Yeah, it's like without it's making a fucking every, it's like nothing. It's every like week, crazy. every week he does that shit, man. It's yeah. like he, that's what I'm saying. He's just he's that's what I'm saying. He's fucking that strong, and it just it's there's like no reason, rhyme or reason behind it. 
He yeah, just can throw like a ton of weight. So somebody asked me, maybe this will go back to the intensity thing. Literally two weeks before Luke passed, somebody, I was training in the gym. It was during quarantine. The gym, me and my one other buddy, the gym was shut down. And my buddy goes, who's the hardest, most intense training partner you've ever trained with? And I go, intense meaning intense or intense meaning like strong. I go, because the strongest motherfucker I've ever trained with, I said, was Luke. I said, because yeah. the motherfucker could handle weight that it looked impossible to lift and he would barely even fucking break a sweat or breathe heavy. I go, so he's the strongest motherfucker I've ever trained with. I said, intense it is where Ben's going to argue. And then I said, intense, I said, branch. So I was actually texting Luke in the gym when I was having this conversation. <laughs> yeah. So anything else you learned about Ben or a guy, Paul? Um, no, I knew Ben, how strong he was. Uh, but yeah, I didn't know how smart he was. <laughs> uh, guy, I knew a little bit about Guy already. I, you know, I'm surprised though how nice Guy is, I'll be honest. I thought Guy, because you have a strong personality. Yeah, right? You thought yeah. he was going to be an asshole. I thought, I thought, so, so, I thought yeah. so, too. Yeah, but I've gotten to know you. I think you're a really cool guy. Um, I know I know. Ben doesn't like to ever feel like he owes anybody anything. <laughs> yeah, I think that's most of us, though, no? Uh, I, I, have, I have friends that still owe no, me no, money. No. Uh, no, us, though. That's like, I don't like owing anybody shit. No, no, but Ben is very... Per like very persistent on certain things. <laughs> yeah, yeah. guy, check your fucking phone. I see. He gets like, like if Ben, if Ben has, if Ben like has to send me something and like I'm not responding, he's like, hey, answer me, yo, what, yo. What would he be? What would he be sending you? I would say I send him protein. Oh, protein and quadro okay. shirts. Okay, I'm just making sure. Just and he wants to pay me for it. And I'm like, bro, I don't want your fucking. Money. Um, what are you barking at? Yeah, that's a good question. It's funny how much you fucking learn about somebody when you're not even like around them. You know what I learned is that everybody on the podcast has a lot of things that are very similar, which is why I think the podcast is good as it is. Really? Because I feel like we're a lot, we're very different. No, but I think in very strong moral ways, we're very similar. And I think, I think that's very important. I, I think, think morally. Character, characteristics were very different, but I think our morals and how like we think overall as people, I think we're pretty much. Yeah, but I. Yeah. Not to sound like a fucking asshole, but I kind of... But wait for it. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm going to do. <laughs> That's like the caveat, so I'm about to say an asshole Not thing. to sound like a <laughs> fucking dick, but I'm about but to. But here it comes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, but I got to say it. I planned it that way. I did. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be fucking... You just said you didn't know me. No, no. I'm saying, but it's like we said before. You were on the podcast. We talked. I enjoyed it. I was like, I could do this with this guy every week. So, like, I wouldn't have anybody on here every week that didn't have some similarity. Are you saying you, yeah. you, you, select, you selected me? Orchestrates yes. it. You've, you, I've selected you. I, sele I hand, hand picked you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just saying, like, I have to do this thing every week. So, I'm not going to pick anybody that's fucking weird. But we're all the same weird. But we're all the same weird, right? That's what I'm talking I, about. I, I, I was about. I'm to taking my pants off and putting them in the wash. So you call same weird whatever you want. <laughs> <laughs> what about James? What about? I you? love him to death. He's so fucking hairy. You, you know what I love about? You. Can I tell you what oh. I love about James? I don't know if I. I don't think I learned this about him from the podcast. I thought I think I learned it about him from reading his Instagram before we were even close. But I love about James that he's so deep. I know it, sounds, it sounds really fucking like fruity, I know, but I, I like that I can talk to him and the fucking conversation just gets deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper into a fucking hole. I think, where I think everybody would say that that's yeah. what they like the most. Like James just goes, it, like sees things differently in his yeah. way. Yeah. And it just, you go with him, you yeah. end up going yeah. with him, you're like, wow. And yeah. he's such an, he's a, just a nice fucking dude. Yeah. Like he is such a nice dude. Like, I'm gonna say something, and I think you guys are gonna to you guys are totally gonna to fucking disagree with me, but and, and and it might be wrong, but it's how I see it anyway. Ian reminds and Paul, maybe you can you can say if I'm fucked up for saying this, but Ian reminds me of myself when I was 30. I'm oh, not wow. saying on stage, like he's a he's probably a better bodybuilder than I was. I'm not talking about that, but his personality because I was definitely like louder, more the edges. Yeah, yeah, I was more rough when I, I kind of calm down in my, as I got older. For sure. I really like Ian's confidence. 
he just says shit and he don't care and he's like care. this is how i feel it's like it reminds me how i used to feel and i'm like mm, maybe i shouldn't say that maybe i shouldn't say that yeah. he's kind of like this is who i am this is what i believe this is what i believe and you can choose to accept it or not keep walking but that's, you know, right. the funny thing is that's how i always was though and then as you get older you're like well maybe i should be careful when i say this or careful when i say that i don't know guy like guy you're kind of like that now like me like but there was there a time when you were 25 or 30 where you didn't give a fuck I never not gave a fuck. Really? I don't like, I, I don't give a fuck, but there's a degree of my level of giving a fuck because I also don't want to cross certain lines to jeopardize certain things in my career. So I will always make sure that yeah, I'm, yeah, yeah. I, I always try to, when, when, when I do things or say things, or even if it's a rant or a podcast, like I always try to make sure I don't ever, like I can say I didn't agree with a, a judge's decision or that I don't like that call, but I won't do it in a disrespectful way. It's in my opinion everybody's allowed to have different opinions i just try to do it in a non-disrespectful way even what are you, being highly opinionated you know what did you uh ben what did you learn about ian or paul or one of you guys go first i think i was uh it, it's ian's lack of he doesn't care about the consequences of his own opinion I think he does, though. It's like he doesn't think about no, it. No, no, no. He, he's, like, he, he, he's unapologetic about, this is my opinion. Like I said, it's it's that. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. A guy, a guy has his opinion, but he's aware that there are consequences to saying certain things. Yeah. Whereas Ian's like, it's not that he doesn't know there's consequences. He's like, you can't tell me I'm wrong for saying what I think. That's true, yeah. He's just like, this is what I think, and I don't care if you don't like it. But it's yeah. usually, it's the th funny thing about it is, there is a lot of people like that that are just assholes, just to be assholes. Mm. But Ian's, even though Ian says stuff that might be not popular, it's almost like it's well thought out. It's well thought out. Look, if I said half the shit Ian did, I would get shit on. I'd get fucking blasted yeah. by the com in the comments. They just rip me a new asshole. There'd be you know nobody what? on my side. But, but I also think it's because people are used to who you are as a person and wouldn't expect that from you. So if you did do that, it would come across way too abrasive. Okay, but yeah, wait yeah. a second. So we're all no. saying we're all saying something about like a trait, but what about Ian himself? Is there something about him that you guys have learned? Because one thing I learned about Ian is kind of the same thing I said about guys. I think he's a very loyal person. Um, I like, you know, I like about Ian that he keeps his circle small. Yeah. And he keeps to his, those are his people, you know, like he's got his brother-in-law, his wife. And it's like, he's got his very small circle that he surrounds himself with. And that's, those are his people. You know what I mean? Yeah. That whole group, I, what I've always found impressive about that whole group, him, Chris and Melissa, is they're very successful, obviously the three of them. And they're very humble about it. Yeah. You don't see them throwing it in people's faces or anything. They just do their thing to go about their business. And isn't that weird though? I think it's, it's, it's strange. Imagine, it's imagine, strange. imagine if they were cocky off social media, though. Like they went to the local <laughs> bar and they were like, <laughs> they were like yeah. yeah. There's a, there's a couple of people lately on social media. No, but it, um, isn't it strange, though, Paul, that like you have what you just said with the three of them, right? Mm -hmm. I could see one person being that popular and not being douchey, but to have all three of them have that attitude is like, it's kind of crazy. Yeah, well, I feel like if one of them was a douche, I think the other two would. The other two in. would keep him in check, though. Yeah, they'd be like, Maybe hey, that's the case, yeah. down a bit." Yeah, yeah, because like they're, 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 they don't even come across like well, cocky at all. Yeah, interesting. Yeah, all right. you know what? I was, just, I was just thinking, out of all of the whole cast or group, whatever you want to call it, if I ever ended up like pissing James off so much that he would never want to talk to me again, that would be like the worst. I'd be so. I'd have to have a conversation with myself. I'd feel like I'd let down. Jesus Christ. Because he's, yeah. he's hard to piss off, though, too. Like, he's very... Okay, I just think he's so easygoing, but he's also so, like, morally old school. I think if you pissed him off, you're like, oh, I really fucked up. Yeah. I, I think he that. would... I think James Mad. it would probably be scarier than anybody on the podcast. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think... I, I, but like, I, think I don't think that's what Ben out. means, though. I think what Ben means is... Yeah. He holds himself to a higher standard, so you don't. Oh, no, no, I agree, but I'm just so if, the right way. He's yeah, got stronger values. He got stronger yeah. values. Yeah. So if you pissed him off, you you've done something wrong. That's yeah. what I'm saying. I think, and I think, yeah. It's, yeah. I think because he's very hard to piss off. Like I think Ben was saying, it was almost you'd have to really do something extremely fucked up to do that. And I think if you got him to that point and he got that pissed, I think it, he would fucking. I think he'd be a scary son of a bitch. It's funny. I'm like the opposite. It's like I get pissed off every day. 
<laughs> but I, I think that I think that's but I think that's probably why I think like it's like if you have a girlfriend and you break up like twenty eight times in the first. You don't month, care like, anymore. Ah. Yeah. Ah. yeah, I think like yeah. with you, I think with you, I was like pissed. the first time you were pissed off me, I was a little like oh shit. Now I'm like oh fucking. Oh, okay. yeah. 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 You know what, Ben? I'm glad you said that because oh, now it's starting to make go. There ben, we go. Ben, 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 hey Ben, hey Ben, hey Ben, 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 Ben. Fuck you, My alliance is perfect. This is great. Ben, <laughs> I love you. That. that is great. So, okay, so I know what not now I know who what actually cares about me. Now yeah. I'm happy. Of course I do. Now, 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 well, now, now I know that if he does that to you, he must love me. Yeah. Okay. No, dude. No, no, ask no, Paul, this thing. Fuad, Fuad really cares. That's why he, he gets okay. like that. You don't oh, get yeah, it. So, I, so that makes me that actually makes me feel good. Guy, like, oh. You don't get it. If I don't get pissed off, it means I don't give a fuck who you are. Dude, yeah, he no. got I'm not gonna we'll say he got like pissed off about something, and I was like, What the fuck? And then it was like water under the bridge, and I was like, wait, what? Yeah, as soon as he's done, as soon as he's done dealing with it, it's done. You know what's funny? Yeah. Can I tell you guys something that's really fucked up? So my dad was very he was a very quiet person he just went to work and came home i wasn't like very close with my father like as far as like uh, emotional but i would watch him he would fight with my mom sometimes like not physically obviously but or he'd yell at my brothers or whatever he'd get so fucking amped up so fucking angry and like lose his shit i remember him like jumping up and down in the middle of the living room one day he was so angry <laughs> and then like 10 minutes later he's like having a coffee he's like laughing yeah. with my, my other brother and i'm like what the fuck i'm like how did this guy go from like a thousand to zero and like five but minutes i think i know a lot of guys that can do that i've had it i've had friends where i've argued with them like the night before i'm like we were out in a bar and we were like gonna have a fucking fist fight yeah. and i live with the guy i went home the next morning i went down to the kitchen he's making breakfast i'm like hey man what's up he's like oh, yeah yeah you good i'm like <laughs> carried on like nothing would happen but we had to get separate taxis home we weren't gonna fucking yeah but you guys that. also like play rugby and like beat the shit out of each other and then like have a beer with each other at the bar afterwards yeah yeah paul's been you know guy all you do is ask paul man he's been through this yeah. for 15 years i'll send you my number guy i tried to i tried to break up with paul like four times Oh, you could be one time you want to find a different training partner. You put it on. I think you put it on Facebook. <laughs> that wasn't, yeah, that wasn't real. Put it on Facebook. That wasn't real. Was it was so real. Funny. It was real. He was mad at me about something. So he oh, put a thing on Facebook. He was like, Yeah, I need to do training partner. That was a I joke. Said, I wasn't this true. Uh -huh. So this guy that I know. Was that the day he found out you double dipped your pants? Yeah. I was like, <laughs> I gotta I gotta dump this fucking guy. He stinks. But the funny thing was, so this guy I know who I know who I doesn't like messages me. He's like, hey. I just saw a post for it, but I'm looking for a new training partner. It's like, you think you'll give me a try? I'm like, yeah, yeah. Give him a, give him a match. <laughs> <laughs> I, knew, I knew before I couldn't stand the guy. <laughs> yeah, anyway, I'm fucked up. Whatever. All right. Uh, it's a long one today. All right, guys. This is a fucking hilarious one. Um, yeah, we'll catch up next week. All right. Um, all right, boys. Take it easy. I'm like him. <laughs> Bye. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, share with your friends, and like the video. And if you get a chance, check out the description for all the different links to all the different places you can find Hostile and myself. And lastly, check out Hostile.com for our new line of supplements and all of our apparel and gear. Thanks again for watching.